Chapter 526 In the outside world, a month passed by quickly. The Cell game had officially begun. Due to the threats and the terrifying strength that S. Cell Halo and Milif had displayed on TV, the entire Earth had been in chaos for a period of time. All kinds of clowns walked onto the screen and exposed the falseness of the Cell game with various purposes. However, the outcome of these people was just wishful thinking. All of them had been mercilessly killed by Cell. It was not that the Central City Army had never tried to attack the venue of the Cell game with artillery shells. However, the outcome was very touching. Not only were Cell and Milif completely unharmed, but they had also implicated several cities nearby and destroyed the landmark buildings. The lesson of blood was laid out in front of their eyes, and all the people on Earth kept quiet out of fear. The clowns no longer dared to clamor. The former champion, Satan, was already prepared to announce that he was participating in the Cell game, but after seeing Cell's terrifying methods, he couldn't help but want to retreat. On the day of the Cell game, the world's television stations performed synchronous broadcasts on this battle that was related to the fate of Earth. The first to go on stage were the martial artists from all over Earth. Of course, these martial artists couldn't resist for a second before they were knocked out of the arena by the sudden gust of wind. Then, Sun Goku and the others went on stage one by one. These Dragon Ball warriors used the hyperbolic time chamber and gravity chamber to train hard. Their strength had indeed advanced by leaps and bounds, but there was still a distance between them and the level of super perfect cell. Sun Gohan, who originally had a chance of becoming the savior, was still attending the cram school at Mount Bowser due to Chi Chi's discipline and had never joined in the training at all. Sun Goku and Vegeta are no match for Cell at all. I thought I could watch a good show, but it seems that the plot is very bad. Several figures floated in the white clouds, overlooking the Cell game below. Because Super Perfect Cell and Milith were guarding the arena, the Dragon Ball warriors in the original story were no match for them no matter how strong they were. Android 17, why don't you go down? You might be able to become a savior. Android 18 lifted her hair and looked at Android 17 with her clear eyes. Android 17 licked her lips and nodded with interest. That makes sense. Do you want to participate in Android 18 too? Android 18 waved her hand and sneered, I have no interest in playing this kind of boring game. She was ready to go to another world to be a rice worm. Even if she saved the world, no one would give her a lot of bonuses. Android 18 was actually very lazy and she was too lazy to do things without benefits. However, Android 18 was not interested. It did not mean that the others were not interested either. Lazuli glanced at Android 18 and felt that it was time for her to show off her might. She raised her finger provocatively at Android 18. Her nimble body was the first to move towards the arena of the Cell game. Android 18 choked. The adults were generous enough to not compare with Lazuli. Next, Mukio, Amelia, Android 17, Android 16, and Broly went down one after another. The appearance of these people frightened Sun Goku, Vegeta, and the others. Other than the few androids, Android 17 and Android 16, they had never even heard of them. When did so many experts appear on Earth? And there seemed to be several super scions. In particular, the one named Broly gave them a huge sense of oppression as soon as he stood there. His normal power level was actually more than 10 times that of them. Android. 18, are you really not going down to play? Melia looked at Android 18 with a smile. Android 18 looked down expressionlessly. It's not interesting. Seeing that Android. 18 did not intend to participate in the Cell game, Melia did not say anything. The following battle was very exciting. After Mukio and the others joined, the Cell game immediately became white hot. Where did these people come from? Where did so many Scion people come from in the universe? Why are there so many Super Scion? The tallest Scion is so powerful. Standing in front of them, it actually makes me tremble. Sun Goku pointed at Broly. At this time, Broly looked at them. The huge pressure immediately made them break out in cold sweat. Too strong. The same goes for Android 17. When did he become so powerful? The Cell game ended in a thrilling battle. In the final battle, other than making a huge impact pit on Earth, all the Dragon Ball warriors knew that there was always someone stronger than others. After this battle, Sun Goku and Vegeta realized that their strength was not the strongest group on Earth. At least several experts were above them. The world that Muyang lived in, the entire Muultiverse 3. It had been more than a year since the battle with Planet Namek. 
since the Namekians found a new home and left Earth half a year ago, Earth had been in a very calm state. On this day, in a certain island in the south, the moist water vapor brought with it the scent of the ocean. There was a special fishy smell in the sea breeze. Because the people on the island made a living by fishing, when they looked at the sea, they could see small boats sailing on the blue ocean like small boats. At the foot of the mountain, a youth with light purple hair suddenly appeared. He wore a dark blue coat and carried a long sword on his back. This youth was Trunks, who had come from another parallel world on a time machine. He had come here to inform Sun Goku and the others of their future crisis. This Trunks came from the multiverse too, which was also the world that had been produced because of the time machine of Universe 12. The progress of history was just a little more than 17 years apart from the era where Muyang lived. Because when he was riding the time machine, it was set to return to 17 years ago, so Trunks didn't cross time and space after sitting on the time machine. Instead, he just happened to come to the Earth of a parallel world. For all universes. Multiverse number 1 Cell's birth timeline. Multiverse number 2, Future Trunks birth timeline. Multiverse number 3, Muyang's birth timeline. Multiverse number 4, The World That Trunks, Timeline 1, Killed by Cell Has Been To, and Milif, They Are Hosting The World Of Cell Games. Trunks sat on the hill with his legs crossed and waited for a long time. He felt a completely different scene from what he remembered. A hint of envy flashed through the youth's eyes. This feeling of peace was something he could not believe in in his world. He took out his pocket watch and looked at it for a while. After confirming the time, Trunks muttered to himself, in a while, Frisia and his father will arrive on Earth. Sun Goku will arrive a little later because of the ship's speed. This will be a crisis that Piccolo and the others will face. But after waiting for a long time, the evil aura of Frisia and the King Cold never appeared. A trace of doubt flashed through Trunks' eyes. Strange, why haven't Frisia and the others appeared? Has history changed because of my arrival? No matter what, we must find Mr. Goku as soon as possible and tell him about the future disaster. We must not let the tragedy repeat itself. The youth took a deep breath and decided to go to Mount Baozu to see what was going on. When Trunks arrived at Mount Baozu, he saw two six- or seven-year-old children training their fists and feet in the courtyard. Trunks' pupil shrank. Two children that I have never seen before. As expected, history has shifted because of me. May I ask if Mr. Sun Goku is here? Chi Chi was guiding Sun Hong Yi and Sun Gohan in martial arts. When she saw the young man who had suddenly appeared, she said, Are you here to look for Goku? He accompanied Bulma back to West City. Why are you looking for him? Mr. Sun Goku went back with his mother. What was going on? Trunks was stunned for a moment, Hello, Auntie Chi Chi. You might not believe me if I say it. I am Trunks from the future world. Ah, Trunks, I know you. You must have come back on a time plane. How did you know? Trunks looked like he had seen a ghost. Chi Chi clapped her hands and called Sun Hong Yi and Sun Gohan over. Then, her body flashed like a ghost and appeared in front of Trunks. Of course I know, she said, because Bulma is currently studying the time machine. Yes, she has a large research lab in the West City and is researching with Dr. Brief. Mother is currently studying the time machine? History is completely different. Trunks suddenly felt his throat go dry and didn't know what to say. Taking a deep breath, Trunks spoke of what he knew and then took out the special medicine for heart disease treatment. Aunt Chi Chi, this is a special medicine for treating diseases, poisons, and heart disease. Although I don't know why history has changed, and I don't know if I can get it after the change, please keep it well. In addition, in three years, there will be two extremely evil androids near the southern islands. Their names are called Android 17 and Android 18. Please be careful. In my future, all the warriors have been killed by those two demons. The earth has fallen into despair, and all the survivors have become their playthings. Hearing this, Chi Chi's face became serious, Android 17 and Android 18? I understand. Kikai knew that Epler and Dr. Jello had studied artificial humans before, but she did not know that the 17th and 18th were Lofus and Raziel. Finally, Trunks left and returned to his time and space with some doubts. However, he agreed that if he did not die in the future, he would return here and fight with everyone. The time would be about three years later. Chapter 527 Multiverse Number 2 World The Ruins of West City Accompanied by a burst of gorgeous brilliance, 
in the underground of the Capsule Corporation headquarters, Trunks returned to his own era on a time machine. Mom, I'm back. Trunks removed the equipment on his body and placed it on the workbench of the research room. Beside him, the middle-aged Bulma with light purple hair had a tired expression on his face. When she saw that Trunks had returned safely, she couldn't help but have a sigh of relief in her heart. Trunks, have you seen Gaku and the others? Trunks shook his head. No, but I met Aunt Chi Chi and handed her the special medicine. Bulma picked up a cup of coffee and placed a hand on the table. That's good. Chi Chi will tell Gaku and the others about the android in advance. Perhaps the tragedy in the future can be avoided. Trunks looked at Bulma. Mom, the world I went to seems a little different from what you said. Hey? What's different about it? Bulma asked curiously. I heard from Auntie Chi Chi that mother of that era was already studying the time machine, and, it seems that her relationship with Sun Gaku is not ordinary. Trunks voiced out his doubts. Bulma was stunned for a moment before he laughed out loud. What kind of special relationship can there be between me and Gaku? It's the other one that you're talking about. I'm actually studying a time machine. It's indeed a bit different. Who cares? It's good that history is different. At least it's possible to avoid things happening here. Trunks nodded his head silently. No matter how bad it was, it would still be their era. At this time, a rumbling sound came from the ground. The ceiling of the underground research room swayed and the lights swayed continuously. Countless dust fell from high above. Trunks' face sank and was filled with anger. Damned android, they're causing trouble on the ground again. As he spoke, Trunks carried his long sword and was about to rush out to cause trouble for the android. Trunks, don't be rash. You are no match for the android. When you have the strength you had back then, you can go find the android. Otherwise, you will only die in vain. The image of Son Goku's broken arm appeared in his mind. Trunks sighed unwillingly. His strength was still inferior to Son Goku from before. Indeed, he could not act rashly. Mother, I will train myself well for the next three years. Trunks said resolutely. Well, then I am relieved. Bulma smiled and said, You are the only hope of the Earth. You must not be impulsive. Then I will go and prepare the fuel for the time machine. In the next three years, you must ensure your own safety. Only when the time and space in the past are saved can we have hope. Yes. Time passed quickly. When Bulma of this world was preparing the fuel for the time machine for Trunks, in the world that Muyang lived in, Sun Gaku had already returned from the West City and learned about the androids from Chi Ch. Will there be androids appearing in three years? Then I'll have to work hard to train. After Sun Gaku learned the news, not only was he not afraid, his heart was full of fighting spirit. After conveying this news to his good friends who were training together, Piccolo, Krillin, and the others also learned about the android. The next few people riveted on each other and worked hard for the disaster three years later. After that, Bulma returned from the West City. After knowing the reason why Sun Gaku and the others worked hard to cultivate, his expression became strange. Others did not know the identity of the android, but did she know that she had been to a parallel world? The so-called Android 17 and 18 were Lazuli and Lapis. According to their relationship, they were her cousin and cousin. Lapis and the others would destroy the world three years later. It might be possible to be established in other worlds, but it was impossible for them. If they had the courage, they would be hung up by April and Wiang in the next second. However, seeing Sun Gaku and the others as if they were facing a great enemy and even pulling Sun Hong Yi and Sun Goten to train together, Bulma thought for a moment and decided not to tell the truth. After all, Bulma had seen a miserable future in another parallel world and knew that the protection of powerful forces for peace was of paramount importance. Just as Sun Gaku and the others were working hard for the disaster three years later, in Axirulation world, Muyang's cultivation had also reached the most critical moment. The limit of the seventh layer of his body was a heavenly chasm that lay in front of Muyang. If he crossed it, his level of life would increase and he would reach the level 8 dimension of the God of Destruction level in one fell swoop. However, this step was not easy. Muyang laid flat on the place with the densest energy in Axirulation world. The golden energy and silver liquid in his body dripped at full speed to absorb the energy around him. It was like a small black hole rotating, and a huge cyclone appeared around Muyang. Peng. The space paused for a moment, and then a golden light flashed. Like the first ray of light that illuminated the world, the entire axirulation world rapidly collapsed. 
In an instant, it shrank from the original 50 million kilometers to 10 million kilometers, and then continued to collapse. In the end, it was left with a radius of 10 meters. This was the size of Axirolation World's initial size. Because the space was shrinking rapidly, the thick energy wrapped around Muyang, surrounding him like a giant egg. Muyang slept in this small space. Every cell was immersed in abundant energy. An inexplicable sound rang in his ears. The sound was very vague, as if it came from the distant past, and also seemed to come from the unknown future. With a bang, the sound of a big bell suddenly sounded. The entire world suddenly had color. At this time, Muyang opened his eyes, and a cold light flashed in his silver eyes. A domineering and powerful figure gradually appeared in his mind. He stood in the void, domineering and peerless. His tall and sturdy body seemed to be standing in the chaos, and his every move and step brought about great power. At this moment, Muyang's mind was clear, and a smile appeared on the corners of his mouth. With a flash of light, he gradually grasped the key. Axirolation world has collapsed to this extent, and the whole world has become a confinement of growth. Then the next thing to do is already very clear. The so-called destruction before establishment, as long as the world is completely broken, the limit of the body will disappear completely. The level 8 dimension was the same as the level 7 dimension. It was a huge leap. However, it was different from the level 7 dimension. Compared to the half-god level level 7 dimension, the level 8 dimension was much deeper and more elusive. In the entire universe, without Zeno or Grand Minister's canon, life level would not be promoted even if power was achieved by true god level. Muyang was very lucky. Although he did not get the title of Zeno, he had the title of the Supreme Kai of Time as Zeno, which wiped out the biggest obstacle to his breakthrough. A smile appeared on his calm face. Muyang looked serious and suddenly opened his hands. He shouted in his heart, break through the level 8 dimension at this moment. As if it were for against Muyang's order, a thunderbolt suddenly rang out in the entire Axirolation world. This thunderbolt was very short, but it came from the great thunderbolt that had just opened up in the universe. In just one ten thousandth of a second, Axirolation world, who had condensed to a radius of 10 meters, expanded like a great explosion in the universe. 1,000 meters, 10,000 meters, 10,000 meters, 50 million meters. Then it continued to expand, and in the blink of an eye, it reached a hundred million kilometers. When it reached a hundred million kilometers, Axirolation world seemed to have reached his limit. His size remained at this size and did not change. At this time, the vast starry sky suddenly filled with blue clouds. In an instant, the entire Axirolation world was covered by blue clouds. Seven colored rays of light flashed and combined with the blue clouds, completely dyeing the starry sky a bright and colorful blue color. When the auspicious clouds stabilized, the entire Axirolation world became a dreamlike resplendent starry sky. Ha! Huh. At the moment when Axirolation world stabilized, a powerful energy penetrated Muyang's body, breaking through the limit of the paper-thin limit. Muyang's body involuntarily floated up, and the energy on his body gradually increased. The silvery-white liquid swirled in his body, and with each revolution, the liquid expanded a little. In the end, it actually formed a magical spiral, resembling a spiral galaxy. I have finally reached the level 8 dimension, true god level. This time, even if I face the god of destruction Lord Beerus, even if I don't rely on the power of rules brought by Acceleration World, I have the confidence to defeat him. The most intuitive manifestation of a breakthrough in the realm was the increase in strength. Muyang felt that before he had broken through, his strength had increased several times. Even among the god of destruction, his strength was one of the best. But the silvery white energy in my body can be considered to have condensed a galaxy. Muyang looked at the changes in his body with a smile on his face. He glanced at the huge space that had expanded to a hundred million kilometers. At this time, the entire Axirolation world was filled with a deep blue luster. Countless stars sparkled in the void. It looked beautiful, dreamy, and colorful. It was not as monotonous and dull as before. Muyang did not expect that Axeleration world would change so much. According to his previous guess, Muyang thought that Axeleration world would expand into a small solar system. However, the result was not that. Axeleration world's diameter had only doubled, but it gave him a completely different feeling. Chapter 528 By the way, Axeleration world still has the ability to communicate with the world. In addition to the time energy given by the Supreme Kai of Time, the structure of Axeleration world should not be what it looks like now. 
As the master of acceleration world, Muyang quickly communicated with the power of the world core. Just as Muyang activated the power of time and space, something unexpected happened. Crack, crack. The whole world trembled, and then the power of time and space suddenly erupted. If acceleration world's collapse was like a black hole absorbing matter, then at this time, countless energy bursts out of thin air. The layers of space seemed to spread from the higher dimension. In Muyang's eyes, acceleration world's appearance changed again. Crash. After a moment of delay, an uproar broke out. Like the sizzling sound of a kettle boiling, a hole suddenly appeared in the center of acceleration world. In that huge hole, a mysterious, vast, and distant will descended. Along with the arrival of that mysterious will, Muyang felt a different kind of divine charm on the other side of the hole. With the hole as the center, a large amount of energy sprayed out, and the surging energy gradually solidified. Finally, it formed six water balls the size of planets around it. Each water ball was shining with starlight, and each water ball contained a huge space the size of a galaxy. These are, six completely new little universes. Muyang was incomparably shocked, his voice trembling with shock. The other end of the central void seems to lead to a mysterious world. Muyang hesitated for a moment. He communicated with Axirolation world. The world's will told him, there was no danger on the other side. Gritting his teeth, Muyang leaped up, his body entering the central void. On the other end was a dreamlike world. The sky had no end, but there was a blue starry sky that was extremely similar to Axirolation world. This place is actually exactly the same as my Axirolation world. Could it be that there is another similar domain besides Axirolation world? Suddenly, on a large golden auspicious cloud, a blue-colored jellyfish attracted Muyang's attention. Looking closer, this blue jellyfish was actually a strange floating planet. At the top of the blue jellyfish, there was a golden palace with the shape of complete floating in the air. A thought like lightning surged into his brain. Muyang's face tightened. He suddenly felt that the building in front of him was particularly familiar. This. This can't be the palace of the Zeno, right? Muyang found it hard to believe. After Axirolation world advanced, the other end of the hole that appeared in the center, was actually connected to the entire Xeno world? Although Muyang had thought about Axelaration world's potential from the ability of obliteration given by Axirolation world, coming directly to the world of the king still surprised him. Should he go over or not? Zeno, that terrifying fellow, was not playing around. I don't want to think about it anymore. Let's go over and take a look. If this really was the place where Zeno lived, then with Zeno and Grand Minister's control over this space, his arrival would probably have already attracted their attention. His body flickered a few times. Muyang landed on the ground on the tip of his toes and landed on the top of the blue jellyfish. The palace that was in the shape of Zeno was right in front of him. Around the palace, there were twelve bare rocks of different shapes floating around the center palace. On the rocks, there were miniature transparent universes. It was the miniature image of the twelve universes in the multiverse system. If one looked closely, one could even see the scenes inside every universe. It is the same as the six water balls in Axirolation world, but the number is double. Muyang was sure that these twelve transparent water balls were the miniature images of the twelve universes in the multiverse. The whole king could directly control the universe under his jurisdiction through them. Interesting. There are twelve Xeno here, and there are six in my acceleration world. Is there any connection? Muyang stood at the door of Xeno's palace to look at these universe projections. Welcome, member of the Time Patrol. The Grand Minister in dark green clothes had his hands behind his back and appeared behind Muyang at some point. Muyang was shocked. Grand Minister. That's right, I am the Grand Minister of this world. I have been waiting here for a long time. You knew that I would come. No. I did not know that you would come. It was only when that hole suddenly appeared in the Xeno world that I saw another world growing up. I did not expect that in this era, there would be someone like you. Congratulations, your world has already gone through the greatest difficulty. In the future, when you grow up, you will not be inferior to the entire universe. Lord Xeno will probably be happy for a long time when he finds out. The Grand Minister spoke to Muyang in a pleasant manner. His attitude was very kind. It seemed that in the world of the Dragon Ball, the nobler the god was, the more kind he treated others. This was a very detached feeling. Of course, Muyang guessed that this might be because he had acceleration world. If it were Foranyon else, 
even if the Grand Minister's attitude would be kind, he would definitely not lower himself like this. When the God of Destruction, Lord Beerus, and Old Supreme Kai Sazino and Grand Minister, did they have that scene of rolling and crawling? The Grand Minister can observe the changes in Axirolation world from here. The Grand Minister looked at Muyang with a deep gaze and shook his head. Of course not. That is your own world. No matter how much power Lord Zeno and I have, we cannot scan a complete world. Actually, when Wiss reported to me, I had already paid attention to you. It was only because you came from another parallel world and the intervention of the Supreme Kai of Time that I gave up the idea of directly looking for you. But now it seems that the effect is not bad. Muyang nodded in agreement. This time, Acceleration World's breakthrough was actually full of coincidences. If not for the time energy bestowed by the Supreme Kai of Time, giving him the opportunity to perfect Acceleration World's time and space energy, according to his past experience, Acceleration World might not have been able to grow into a perfect universe space. Although the original Acceleration World had great potential, it was just a space after all. Without time energy and space energy, just the power of rules alone was not enough to support a real world. Even if Muyang wanted to advance, he would probably have to pay a great price. And now, borrowing power from the Dragon God and Supreme Kai of Time, Acceleration World advanced to a small universe, and there were six galaxies inside. The road ahead was almost paved, and he only needed to walk step by step. So, the Grand Minister of the world I live in is also paying attention to me. In essence, the Grand Minister of different worlds are the same. After this season of reincarnation, they will combine into one person. As long as Wiss reported it, I think so. The Grand Minister said with a calm face. Muyang couldn't help but sweat. Being paid attention to by such a high god, the pressure on his body was very great. Don't worry, we have no ill intentions towards you. When you go back, you should take the initiative to communicate with Zeno over there. The Grand Minister said, maybe through you, Zeno and the Grand Minister of our worlds can communicate in advance before this season ends. This can save us a lot of trouble. Oh right, Zeno is in the palace. Do you want to go in and see him? Thinking of the Zeno's ignorant appearance, Muyang felt that he could not be recruited. No, I think it is not the time yet. Chapter 529 Zeno would not be as cultured and reasonable as the Grand Minister. As the highest god in the entire universe, Zeno held the highest level of divine power in the universe. There was no doubt that Zeno had a high status. His every word and action represented the rules of the universe, but while Zeno was holy and noble, his mind had a big problem. Just like the young voice of Zeno when he spoke, Zeno was like a child who did not grow up and was extremely willful. Once he lost his temper, destroying the universe would be like playing around. If not for the Grand Minister, such a wise god, assisting him, no one would know what the entire universe would become. For such an ignorant god who could crush the universe with a raise of his hand, Muyang chose to stay away. Therefore, when the Grand Minister asked Muyang if he wanted to go to the palace of Zeno to have an audience with Zeno, Muyang felt that he could not teach him and politely declined. Before he could resist the erasability of Zeno, Muyang tried to reduce the chances of meeting the king. Oh, then forget it. If Zeno knew that there was someone in the universe who was similar to him, he would definitely be very happy. The Grand Minister smiled lightly like a breeze. Muyang's heart skipped a beat. If I come here, will Zeno find out? The Grand Minister said, No, this world is temporarily under my management. All the information needs me to report. All Zenos will not notice this place. Moreover, Zeno is currently playing a chessboard game and does not have the intention to do so. Chessboard game, could it be the game that used planets as marbles? The scene of Zeno pushing the planet on the chessboard to another planet appeared in Wiang's mind. He shivered and treated the planet as a chess piece. He could not understand the joy of this realm. Looking around at the dreamlike deep starry sky, Muyang bid farewell to the Grand Minister. The Grand Minister smiled and watched Muyang leave. Suddenly, the Grand Minister spoke, By the way, I will give you a token. When you see the Grand Minister of other worlds, you can give the token to them. They will naturally know your identity, so there is no need to worry about accidentally injuring you. The Grand Minister's token was a light blue halo which looked only the size of a bracelet. Muyang carefully observed the blue halo. The material was exquisite, and it was actually a pure energy state. It was the same as the halo around the angel's neck. It seemed to represent some kind of rules. He carefully put away the token. 
Muyang nodded at the Grand Minister. Then, his figure flashed and he disappeared from the sacred world. After Muyang left, the Grand Minister nodded with a faint smile. Then, he walked into the palace with his hands behind his back. The interior of the palace was like a brand new universe. The space inside was vast and boundless. Along the corridor, there were ancient divine columns floating in the air on both sides. The height of the divine columns was submerged in the vast and boundless void, making it impossible to see through. The ancient and boundless sky was blue in color. Illusory planets of various sizes adorned the sky. The Grand Minister walked all the way to the spacious hall. In the main hall, a king with an oval head and swaying feet, like a child, threw himself in front of a big chessboard, concentrating on playing the game. Different from the chess games played by humans, on the chessboard of Zeno, every chess piece was a planet full of vitality. At this time, these planets were being watched by fate. He extended a finger to the chess pieces on the chessboard. Suddenly, a hand that held up the sky appeared in the vast starry sky, writing the big trend for each planet to destroy. Bang! Zeno's finger pushed the planet on the chessboard, causing it to hit another planet. This was the process of writing fate. Every action of Zeno was to set the fate of destruction for the planets in the lower realms. Of course, the planets that could be placed on the chessboard were all planets that needed to be destroyed. Dong, the two planets collided and turned into powder. On each side of Zeno stood a guard who was as motionless as a bamboo pole, like two sculptures, his expression solemn. Only when Zeno destroyed the planet would the forehoods of these two guards break out in cold sweat. It was boring to play alone. Zeno was a child. After playing for a while, he felt bored and simply flipped the chessboard over. All the chess pieces fell to the ground and rolled on the ground a few times before turning into powder and disappearing. At this time, Zeno waved his arms happily. Ah, they have all disappeared. They are so beautiful. Hey, Grand Minister, has something interesting happened down there recently? The Grand Minister respectfully stood in front of Zeno and told him about Muyang. After Zeno heard this, his eyes, which were like copper coins, were full of curiosity. However, after knowing that the other party had gone back, Zeno said in low spirits, Why did he go back? Grand Minister can you find him to play with me? Lord Zeno, that Mr. Muyang is not from the multiverse, so it will be difficult for you to see him. Ah, he is from another parallel world. It's so troublesome. Do you want to end this season in advance and enter the next season? That way, we can see him sooner. Zeno walked around the hall and suddenly thought of an idea. The two guards beside him shuddered. The Grand Minister stopped them. This won't do. The other side's universe hasn't been completely perfected yet. If Lord Zeno ends the quarter ahead of time and the E multiverse is united, the other party might be destroyed along with the universe. It still won't do. Could it be that we can only wait? It's so boring. Lord Zeno, don't worry. I have already discussed it with Mr. Muyang. In the future, we will open up a passageway that connects multiple worlds. When the time comes, Lord Zeno can enter his world to play. Really? That's great. Zeno danced with joy. Because he was a child, he quickly forgot about his unhappiness from before. The guards around him all heaved a sigh of relief. In Axirolation world, Muyang, who had returned from Zeno world, only heaved a sigh of relief when he returned to his territory. He actually went to the world of the king just now, and also saw the Grand Minister that even Old Kai and the God of Destruction Lord Beerus had to bow down and worship when they saw him. This feeling was too unreal. He glanced at the big hole in the center of the sky with a complicated expression, and there was a holy charm seeping out from it. That place is actually connected to the whole king world of this multiverse. Fortunately, the one I saw was the Grand Minister and not Zeno. Thinking about it, he felt a little scared. If he had known that the other side of the hole was Zeno world, Muyang would not have taken the risk to enter it no matter what. Fortunately, the Grand Minister on the other side had no ill intentions towards him. Otherwise, if he rashly entered, it would be no different than a sheep entering the tiger's mouth. The Grand Minister gave me this token to let me see the Grand Minister of other worlds. They want to use Acceleration World as a bridge to communicate with several multiverse. Taking out the blue halo that the Grand Minister gave him, Muyang roughly guessed the Grand Minister's intention. However, he still had to discuss this matter with Wiss when he got back. If it were for beneficial to Acceleration World, it would not be a big deal to agree to the Grand Minister's request. Moreover, he might even be able to get some benefits from the Grand Minister. 
To be able to form a relationship with the Grand Minister, one could basically walk sideways in the multiverse. After all, even Zeno had to listen to the Grand Minister sometimes. Because he had the identity of a member of the Time Patrol, Muyang was not worried that the Grand Minister would have other thoughts. However, this matter was too important and needed to be fully prepared. After putting away the blue token, Muyang decided to let go of the matter first. Chapter 530 Right, first move planet Wudeo back from outside Acceleration World. Muyang patted his head. His body left Acceleration World and arrived outside the solar system. At this time, the huge planet Wudeo floated leisurely in the universe, and there was a layer of protective energy barrier around it. With a thought from Muyang, the upgraded power of rules suddenly broke through the space and descended. The sparkling and translucent light cage covered the huge planet Wudeo bit by bit. When the light completely covered the planet, a ripple appeared in the starry sky. Then the planet Wudeo passed through the space channel and returned to Acceleration World. Not long after returning to Acceleration World, the planet Wudeo went straight to the core area of the world. With a pop, the huge planet directly filled the huge hole. Muyang entered the planet Wudeo and found that the passage to Xeno World had become a gate of space-time on planet Wudeo after returning to the martial arts tournament. The gate of space-time was ivory in color, and the two doors were tightly closed. The entire structure of Acceleration World changed. The center was planet Wudeo with rock structure, surrounded by six transparent bubble planets. Each bubble planet contained a galaxy the size of a galaxy. It was only because the galaxy was at the initial stage of creation that there was nothing in the vast galaxy, and the primitive stars were still in the state of birth. The evolution of the universe is a long stage. Even if time is accelerated by 256 times, it will take tens of millions of years to form a life planet. He roughly estimated the situation of the six small galaxies, and the data he obtained made Muyang dumbfounded. Forget it, if it really doesn't work, just move some planets outside. Muyang shook his head. He needed a lot of planets, but to fill up the six galaxies, he needed at least six galaxies the size of a galaxy. Every planet in the universe had the management of gods, so it would be difficult to take them. However, outside the universe, there were many small subsidiary worlds and fragments. Those worlds lacked management. After thinking about it for so long, Muyang had a rough plan in mind, and then he left Acceleration World and came to Earth. At this time, more than a year had passed since the Cell game in the current world. Because Muyang had been in seclusion to break through, Melia, Melis, and the others were unable to enter Acceleration World, so they naturally could not return to the Earth that they used to live on. When Muyang found them, the few of them had already lived on the Earth of this alternate space for a long time. Android 17 and Android 16, according to what they had said before, indeed, a garden that specialized in raising rare wild animals was established on an island in the south. Every rare animal on it came from all over the world. Because of a great scientist like April, the small island was very modern and built into several areas. Every area had a special supercomputer controlling the temperature, humidity, and rainfall. Mukio, Amelia, and the others had nothing to do, so they took care of these wild animals on the island together. Hey, number 18, go and wash your clothes. Raji I carried a basket of change clothes and placed it in front of number 18. Number 18 leaned on the back of the chair, propped up his chin, and raised his eyelids. Why should I wash it? I won't be paid. I won't do it. Lazuli glared at him. Do you want to wash it or not? Do you believe that I will tell Aunt Emilia that I won't give you any pocket money when she goes back? Tisk. Android 18 bit her lower lip. Seeing that Lazuli had brought out Melia to talk, in order to be a happy riceworm in the future, Android 18 reluctantly took a basket of clothes, threw it into the washing machine, and pressed the start button. With the washing machine, who would do the laundry by hand? Lazuli frowned and glared at Android 18. In this parallel world, she had no upbringing at all. Forget it. This was because no one had taught her since she was young. She lost her parents at such a young age and was even transformed into an android. It was strange and pitiful to think about it. Lazuli was a good understanding child after all. She automatically found a reason for the other party. The difference between Android 18 and Lazuli was mainly hair. Lazuli blonde hair reached her waist, while Android 18 hair was only on her shoulder. On the other side, after Muyang entered Earth, he quickly found the auras of Mukyu and the others. He elegantly landed on the island and then walked straight into a paradise. 
On the beach, Melia, Melis, April and the others were lying under coconut trees, comfortably drinking tea and eating snacks. The gentle light shone down, making them feel warm and comfortable. You've already broken through. Melia glanced at them and asked. Yes. Muyang sat next to Melia and played with her soft hair. Melia opened her eyes, which were as beautiful as emeralds. How powerful is a god of the level 8 dimension? Muyang smiled and said, in terms of pure strength, the god of destruction, Lord Beerus, is no longer my match. Amazing. Melia jumped up. The environment here is not bad. Melis lay on the side and said, it's similar to the residence on the planet Wudeo, but we have been here for so long, it's about time to go back. Broly has no time to cultivate for this period of time. Then let's go back. Oh right, April, we will go outside the universe together after a while. After my acceleration world advanced, it created a large space and continued to fill in the life planet. Following that, he told Melia and April about acceleration world's changes, and they were all filled with curiosity. The original universe, Muyang is about to become a creation god. He's still far from being comparable to Zeno. Muyang said modestly. April smiled. That's also very impressive. There are many fragments outside the universe, and there must be other black stones. I will find a way to collect them, so little April, you have to hurry up and study S cells and black stones. Muyang had a feeling that this research would play a vital role in the future. I know. The couple shared their joy and then called Mukiu, Amelia, Lazuli, and the others over. They planned to return to the time and space they lived in. Android 17, you really don't plan on leaving with us? Muyang asked again. Android 17 smiled and said, No, I will manage this island with Android 16. Muyang nodded and said, Well, you should take care of yourselves. There will be many difficulties in the future. Don't delay your training. Android 17 said seriously, Yes, I entrusted Android 18 to you. Android 18 crossed her arms and looked at Android 17 with dissatisfaction. Don't make me look like a child. With my strength, I can be free and easy anywhere. Android 17 looked at her sister and whispered in her ear, then you have to get along well with yourself in another world. You don't have to worry. Android 18 glanced at her and said. Goodbye, everyone. Come back and take a look when you have time. Goodbye. Everyone waved to Android 17 and Android 16. With a thought. Muyang led everyone through the universe and then jumped back to the original universe. In the villa of Great Azure Mountain, the surrounding trees were shaded, and the courtyard was full of flowers. Broly left first after everyone returned to Earth. His home was not far from the villa, only a few steps away from Muyang's residence. Glancing at the group of people, Muyang's villa could definitely accommodate these people, but the child had grown up and needed his own space. Muyang pointed to the open space in front of them and said to Melia and the others, there are two more villas. Yes, Mukiu and the others are already at the age of marriage. Melia nodded. April volunteered. I will tell Cypriel and the others to get rid of their matters as soon as possible. Chapter 531 Muyang's family had a very close relationship with the Cypriel family. The children of the two families were raised almost at the same time when they were young. The time that Cypriel took Mukiu and the others was even more than Muyang and the others. Therefore, after April clarified their relationship, the problem was naturally not big. Although Lapis and the others were not even 20 years old, in the Dragon Ball world, it was common to get married early. There were also many parents who were 18 or 19 years old. Since they had already decided to be together, of course, they should get married early and then go out independently. When the idea was set, the parents of both sides hit it off, and the matter was settled. As for the details, of course, Muyang and the others needed to carefully decide, but with the experience of Broly and Launch before, Muyang and the others did not mess up. On the same day, the news was transmitted to the higher UPS of the Kami school. When the elders, such as Isaac, Alice, Clarissa, heard the news, they were all overjoyed. They simply took over most of the matters and busied themselves on behalf of Mukiu and the others. There was no need for Muyang and the others to interfere in the entire process. Soon, two brand new small buildings began to work not far from Muyang's villa. Isaac worked hard to command the construction team to do their homework, and the scene was bustling with activity. On the contrary, Mukiu and Lazuli, who were preparing to get married, were put aside. In a gazebo at the foothills. Android 18, 
dressed in a light blue shirt, leaned on a chair at the side in boredom, one foot on a stone bench. It's just a marriage. Is there a need to make such a big fuss? She glanced at Mukiu and Lazuli with disdain. Android 18 smelled a sour smell. She turned to Lazuli and asked, Hey, where do our parents live in this world? Lazuli was in a good mood recently, so she did not compete with Android 18. They live on the islands in the south. The address is 1060 in the south. Do you want to see them? Android 18 said, Let's go take a look. In my world, they passed away when I was very young. Mukiu said, Do you want us to accompany you? Android 18 said indifferently, No need. You should stay with you Lazuli. After saying that, Android 18 flew away, leaving Mukiu and Lazuli behind. Lazuli pursed her lips. I think it is a mistake to bring her here. Do you think she will use my identity to stir up trouble with my parents? Mukiu said, The two of you are clearly the same person. Why can't you get along well? Lapis chuckled. Who told her to make me unhappy every time? Mukiu shook his head. In fact, when Android 18 went to look for her parents, she simply wanted to see her parents and did not have any bad intentions. Earth was a small planet. With the speed of Android 18, they arrived at the southern island in a few minutes. After hesitating for a while, Android 18 pressed the doorbell of her parents' house. It was Sol who opened the door. Lazuli, why are you back alone? Mukiu did not accompany you. Mom. Android 18 whispered a few times, but she was more excited. Cypriel put her hand on Android. 18's forehead. Are you okay? Android 18 shook her head and then revealed her identity to her parents. When she found out that the girl in front of her was actually from a parallel world, Cypriel opened her mouth in surprise. However, she was a scientist after all, and it was easy for her to accept the affairs of a parallel world. When she learned that this girl had lost her parents when she was a child, and that her younger brother, Lapis, had been captured and transformed into Android, a pained expression appeared on her face. She pulled Android 18 into her arms. Lazuli, you can stay here from now on. Yes. Android 18 did not object. In any case, the world's Lazuli was going to marry Mukiu, so she could live in her parents' home. After that, Lazuli knew that Android 18 had replaced her and lived in the house. She said unhappy words, she did not show any objection. After all, she was another herself. If she was not allowed to live in her parents' house, would she still live in her and Mukiu's house? Lazuli was not so stupid. Half a month later, the wedding between Mukiu and Lazula was held normally. Because Muyang's two children were married at the same time, the whole great Azure Mountain was particularly lively. Even Sun Goku, Vegeta, and others, who were nervously training to prepare for the future android crisis, took the time to attend the wedding of Lazuli and others. Of course, Sun Goku and the others did not know that Lazuli was actually the android they took precautions against. They did not know how they would feel when they learned the truth in the future. On this day, Android 18 also formally attended the wedding of Mukiu and the others. For the sake of your marriage, this is a gift for you. Android 18 took out a gift box and gave it to Lapis. What is this? Open it after the wedding. Android 18 glanced at it and said. All right. Lazuli smiled slightly and put away the gift. Seeing this, Android 18 walked towards Amelia and Lapis and also gave them a gift box. However, it looked slightly bigger than the one she gave Lazuli. What did she give? Open it quietly and take a look. After Android 18 left, Mukiu opened the gift box Android 18. In the small box, there were piles of banknotes. The number was probably several million. Mukiu immediately did not know whether to laugh or cry. This marriage directly gave money. Was there a need to use a gift box to store it? Lazuli was very satisfied with Android 18's gift and looked very happy. Mukiu sighed. Lazuli and Android 18 were indeed the same person. Their preferences were the same. It was better to send flowers and cakes directly than to send money. It seemed that in the future, in order to make his wife happy, he had to often show off his gold and silver. The wedding of Mukiu, Lazuli, Amelia and Lapis lasted for more than a day before it ended. After sending off all the guests, the pace of life returned to its previous state. Other than taking some time to study acceleration worlds changes every day, Muyang was also comprehending a whole new realm. Time passed day by day. Spring went and autumn came, and white horses passed quickly. 
In the blink of an eye, two years passed. In these two years, Muyang's harvest was very brilliant. Not only did it stabilize Acceleration World's structure, but his strength had also greatly improved. His comprehension of the Ultra Instinct had also improved. To be honest, a realm like the Ultra Instinct was an extremely difficult concept to comprehend in the level of the God of Destruction. However, for an angel, this realm could only be said to be the first level of entry. Why were all angels silver-gray hair? It was because they had comprehended the Ultra Instinct. Now that Muyang had broken through to the first level of the God of Destruction, the next level was the Angel level. However, to break through this level was even more difficult than advancing to the true God level. Even after training for more than two years, under Acceleration World's 256 times acceleration, Muyang had only comprehended a little bit. At this time, the importance of a good teacher was reflected. In the past, because of WIS guidance, all the difficulties before the true God level could be pointed out one by one, allowing him to take fewer detours. As his realm increased, the following training would be of little help to WIS. After all, WIS himself was only at the angel level. To guide others to reach the angel level was really a bit difficult. Chapter 532 The training of a true God level is extremely difficult. To advance to the level of an angel, it is absolutely not something that can be broken through with just comprehension. Thinking about those God of Destruction who had stayed in the level 8 dimension, they had cultivated for many years but were still unable to break through. It was not that their aptitude was poor, but in fact, every person who could become a God of Destruction was an elite in the universe. The reason why they had stayed at the true God level for so long was because the road to progress was too difficult. Muyang's bottleneck was not in the breakthrough of the realm, but in the development of Acceleration World, if he relied on Acceleration World to develop the universe by himself this growth stage would take countless years. Taking out the token given by the Ground Minister, the blue light emitted a warm and harmonious light. Muyang wondered if he should seek the Grand Minister's help. If he could get the Grand Minister's guidance, it would greatly enhance his future training. However, when he thought of contacting the Grand Minister, it was inevitable that he would come into contact with Zeno. Muyang felt a little scared. Zeno's character was too uncertain. If that guy entered Acceleration World through the World Channel, who knew what would happen? Forget it, he had to think of a way to fill up the six galaxies' universes in Acceleration World first, and then think about whether to meet the Grand Minister. Putting aside those worries for the time being, Muyang remembered that he had promised to help April find the Black Stone. It was better to take this opportunity to fill up the galaxy universe and complete it together. There were many small worlds and fragments around the entire universe. Many of them were split from the time fragments of the entire universe. If they could find a small world like the android world, there was a high chance of finding the black stone. After leaving the cultivation room, Muyang sent a message to Wis to ask about the Grand Minister. Then he walked into the courtyard and saw April and the others. In the courtyard, a few people were leisurely basking in the sun and eating melon seeds under the care of Milif. Ever since Mukiu and Amelia had their own families, their lives in the villa had been restored. Their small lives were very comfortable. Because there was no one to disturb them, it was as if they had returned to their youth. They didn't talk about music every day, but at least they were full of husband and wife lives. Thanks to more than a year of hard work, April, who had been looking forward to it for a long time, was finally pregnant. That was a child that contained the power of the Majin Bu. It was not easy for the strong to give birth to a child. After knowing that she was pregnant, she was happy. Now. In order to take care of the fetus in peace, she had transferred all the research work to Bulma and Dr. Brief. April, why don't we take a vacation outside the universe and find the whereabouts of the Black Stone? If we see a satisfactory planet, we can move it directly to Acceleration World. There were six small universes the size of a galaxy in Acceleration World, and the planets needed were huge. April lay down, her white face full of red light. She had been in a very good mood for a while. Well. I don't have much work now anyway. Just treat it as a vacation. What about the two of you? He turned to look at the Melia sisters who were served by Milif. We won't go. Melis and I feel that our strength is about to break through to the half-god level. We need to prepare for a period of time in one go. Melia waved his hand, but when he saw her open her mouth to eat the grapes handed by Milif, it was impossible to tell that it was for training. Up to you. Muyang ignored them. According to the growth of Melia and Melis, if they reached the legendary Super Scion mode, their strength could indeed reach the strength of the Super Scion God. 
if the two of them did not work hard, they would soon be surpassed by Broly. I wish you two a good time. Melis waved at Muyang and April. Muyang nodded, held April's hand, and disappeared together. The first person they went to was Acceleration World, who was in the middle of traveling through the world. In addition, to make it convenient to take care of April, Muyang brought Gaia along this time. The blue jelly lay in April's arms, and its soft body caressed April's stomach. After Muyang and April traveled to the world, they arrived quietly on May 12th. On this day, the sun rose from the horizon as usual. According to the information that Trunks had brought back then, today was the day the androids appeared. Sun Goku and the others finished their cultivation one after another and then came to a large island nine kilometers away from the southern city. According to the information provided by Trunks, androids would appear nearby. In another space and time, the entire island, along with hundreds of thousands of people, would be brutally killed by androids. Chi Chi stood beside Sun Goku and pointed at the island below. Sun Goku nodded solemnly. Then he looked at Bulma beside him. Nonsense, what are you doing here? If the artificial human really appears, we can't protect you at all. Bulma smiled indifferently. I just came to take a look. I just took a look at the artificial human and left. The so-called Android 17 and Android 18 are the Lapis and Lazuli. They are all my relatives. What is there to worry about, Bulma? Bulma, this place is really dangerous. Chi Chi opened her mouth and smacked it. It doesn't matter. I contacted Lazuli. She will protect me. Lazuli mentioned by Bulma was the name of Android 18 in this world. Because he had never used the name of Android 18, Sun Goku and the others still did not know that Lazuli was the Android 18 that they were looking for. Mom, we will also protect you well. Yes. The petite and cute Sun Hong Yi and Sun Goten with a head of light purple hair stood beside Brahma Bulma. What a good child. Bulma stroked the heads of the two children happily. At this moment, Several figures flew over from afar. It was Krillin, Yamsha, Tian Xinyan, and the others. Although they were many times stronger than in the original work after going through the experience of the universe battlefield, they were actually no match for the android however, when they knew that the Earth was about to face a disaster, they still stood up resolutely. Krillin, Tian Xinyan, you are here too. Krillin landed on the ground and was a little surprised when he saw Bulma. Why did you bring her out too? What if there is danger? You don't have to worry about it. I will protect her. A clear female voice appeared beside Bulma. This beautiful girl seems to be called Lazuli. Yamsha nudged Krillin's shoulder and whispered. Yes, she is Bulma's cousin. Krillin had seen Android 18 at Mukihu's wedding, but he never knew that the other party was also a martial artist, so he was also very surprised. By the way, why aren't Piccolo and Vegeta here? Looking around and seeing no sign of Piccolo and Vegeta, Tian Xinyan asked curiously. Sun Goku explained, Piccolo is monitoring the situation on Earth with Katana in the lookout. As for Vegeta, that guy doesn't intend to come. He is busy training with Shasli in the hyperbolic time chamber. So that's how it is. The sun gradually rose, and the clear sea surface shimmered under the sunlight. Sun Goku and the others stood on a small mountain on the island. Soon, it was 10 o'clock in the morning. The whereabouts of the artificial human still did not appear. It's already at this time. Why hasn't the artificial human appeared yet? Krillin was monitoring every energy of the island city, but he still had not found any traces of android. According to Trunks, android beings have no breath, Chi Chi said. Could it be that because of the difference in time and space, there are no android in our world at all? Yam Sha guessed uncertainly. Android 18 stood beside Burma with a cold expression. He crossed his arms around his chest and tapped his fingers lightly. He sneered in his heart. Idiot, the android in this world are Lazuli and the others. That woman is currently having a lovey-dovey time with Mukiu. She won't have the mood to come to this remote island. Even if you wait to die, you won't wait for them. Chapter 533 Why don't we wait a little longer? If the androids still haven't appeared, we'll go back. Sun Goku stood on the hill his back facing the city below. Krillin said worriedly, if the androids don't have any energy, we won't be able to find them either. Do we have to wait for them to make trouble before we can find them? Chi Chi said, there will be countless casualties like this. Then it will be difficult. If I can't sense their energy, I can only use my eyes to judge. Sigh, it really is a headache. 
Tian Xinyan and Yamsha were still searching for traces of the android. However, several towns were scattered on several islands near the southern city. Although there were not many people, there were hundreds of thousands of them. It was not easy to find them. Everyone, split up and see if you can find anything. Although they began to doubt whether the androids would appear, the Dragon Ball warriors led by Sun Goku could not let go of a trace of threat. After Sun Goku finished speaking, several people turned into several rays of light and scattered everywhere in the small city. Seeing Sun Goku and the others disperse, Bulma, who stayed in place, shrugged and looked at Android 18. Why don't we go back? I just studied a new material that can make clothes with extremely high reparation. I'll give it to you to try. Okay. Android 18 knew that Sun Goku and the others were destined to be useless this time. If not for the fact that the southern island was near her parents' home, she wouldn't have come with Bulma no no matter what. When she heard that Bulma was going to go back, Android 18 nodded in agreement. Just as Android 18 and Bulma boarded the plane and were about to return, in the distant temple, Piccolo and Kanalita were also monitoring the situation in the lower realm strictly. Piccolo looked down seriously. There are no dangerous existences found on Earth. Could it really be that youth called Trunks made a mistake? Big Piccolo suspiciously. Kanalita remembered the time light machine that she found four years ago and shook her head. There should be enemies, but they might not be the people we are thinking of. It is better to pay attention to the situation below. On the lookout, a black-haired youth walked out from the palace corridor. I don't know why you are so worried. There are experts like Melia and Melis on Earth. No matter what, it is not your turn to worry. The old Kami followed Sun Goku out. His wrinkled cheeks revealed a smile. Gohan, what you said is naturally reasonable, but we can't beg Melia and the others for everything. The new generation of Earth also has to shoulder the responsibility of protecting Earth. In fact, I am not worried about how strong the enemy will be, but whether the Earth can withstand the powerful energy. Sun Goku was stunned for a moment. The strength of the Earth was indeed a problem. Because of taking the elixir, even after dozens of years, Sun Goku still maintained his appearance when he was young. Suddenly, a terrible energy attracted the attention of Kanalita and the others. The faces of several people became serious at the same time. Sun Goku said in surprise, it can't be, there really are enemies. Sun Goku had learned the truth from Melia and the others early in the morning. He knew that androids would not threaten Earth, but the energy that appeared now was clearly beyond his expectations. Through the dense clouds at the edge of the lookout, the situation in the lower realm clearly appeared in front of them. In the lower realm, Sun Goku was attacked by a strange person covered in metal. Fortunately, he turned into a super scion in time and barely managed to survive the attack of the other party. When they sensed the aura released by Sun Goku, Chi Chi, Krillin, Tian Xinyan, and the others also quickly gathered over. Sun Goku swallowed an immortal bean before he suppressed the injuries on his body. The two robots that entered his line of sight were two robots with green luster all over their bodies. The two robots had the same appearance and were well built. They had sharp ears and two small horns on their foreheads. There were symbols similar to M between their eyebrows. Could they be androids? They have finally revealed their true colors. Tian Xinyan and the others noticed them and thought of the future that Trunks had mentioned. Their eyes revealed an oppressive cold light and the energy in their bodies quickly increased. Be careful. They are very strong. I was almost killed by them just now. Are they really that powerful? Krillin asked in surprise. They are definitely very strong. The strength of these two guys is beyond that of ordinary Super Saiyan. Sun Goku warned him in a serious tone. Ku. This time, Krillin, Yamsha, and the others were all nervous. In terms of strength, they could not even compare to Super Saiyan, let alone be more powerful than Super Saiyan. Sun Goku frowned and took the initiative to block in front of Krillin and the others. He suddenly shouted, and his entire body immediately burst out with a golden light. Sun Goku, who had turned into a Super Saiyan, rushed to the front of the two robots. Then, he started an intense battle. Peng, peng, sounds of explosions rang out incessantly. Rays of dazzling light flashed in the smoke. The island where mountains stood and strange stones were scattered was attacked by powerful energy, and it actually continued to sink. Rumble. A bright energy streaked across the ground, and a thick smoke rose. The entire city not far away was instantly raised to the ground. Damn it, they actually destroyed the entire city. Krillin's eyes were about to crack. However, 
the battle on Son Goku's side was not something they could interfere in. Peng! 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 The sky trembled and clouds surged. A large amount of violent energy spread in all directions, and the earth rumbled. Piyu! Son Goku was surrounded by two metal men, and soon he spat out blood from his mouth. He quickly took out immortal beans from his pocket and ate them. Son Goku shouted at Chi Chi and the others, Let's go, these two people are too strong. Chi Chi and the others knew that staying here would only be a burden. They retreated backwards while Son Goku was holding them back. However, the other party did not intend to let them leave. While Chi Chi and the others were retreating, they broke through and flashed forward, blocking the way in front of Chi Chi and the others. The metal man said, None of you can leave. You all have to become nutrients for higher stars. Sun Goku had a dark expression on his face. The golden light on his body became even more violent. However, there was a metal man beside him that was wrapped around him, making him unable to provide any help at all. Just as the metal man was about to attack Chi Chi and the others, Android 18, who had left with Bulma, rushed back. With a bang, Android 18 blocked the metal man's attack with his arm and retreated a few steps back. Who are these two guys? Android 18 frowned. Careful, Lazuli, they are androids. Chi Chi shouted at Android 18. Speaking of which, Android 18 rolled her eyes. How could she not know who the androids were? The two metal men in front of her were definitely not androids. They are not androids. Android 18 stared cautiously at the two metallic men in front of her. Their bodies were glowing with green light. The energy in their bodies began to surge. Although they had been muddle-headed for the past few years, Android 18 was only a bit weaker than Super Perfect Cell. However, she had almost been unable to block the opponent's attack just now. Sun Goku, Tian Xin Yan, all of you leave. This battle is no longer something you can interfere in. After Android 18 shouted, a cold light flashed in her blue eyes. Shu. With a step in the air, Android 18's body flashed and suddenly disappeared from sight. She reappeared in front of the metal man. She grabbed the metal man's arm and twisted it hard. Violent energy exploded on the metal man's chest. In an instant, an energy that could destroy the earth burst out. Boom! A violent explosion came. The ground was dug three feet into the ground again. What shocked Android 18 was that after suffering such a powerful attack, only cracks appeared on the surface of the metal man's body. He did not lose the ability to fight. Suddenly, Sun Goku did not retreat. Instead, he advanced and joined in the battle. Countless lightning flashed, just like a great disaster in the climate. The area of dozens of kilometers was covered by thick smoke. The visibility was reduced to an invisible level. Chapter 534 These two guys are much more powerful than Android 16. Android 18's clothes were torn, and a pair of bright eyes stared at each other. Because of the eternal energy, Android 18 did not look tired except his hair was a little messy. However, it was difficult for Android 18 to gain a big advantage against the enemy. If Muyang or Supreme Kai were here, they would recognize that these two metal people emitting green light were the King of Demon Realm Dabura. Or, it was the clone of the King of Demon Realm Dabura. At that time, Dabura worked together with the Phantom Lumo to give the Big Get Star Central life form to be transformed. However, halfway through the transformation, because of the death of Lumo, the center of the taller star actually regained its subjective consciousness. After recovering its consciousness, the taller star directly killed Dabura on the platform and continued to transform with his flesh and blood. These two green glowing metal Dabura were the first batch of super warriors. Each of them had strength slightly lower than that of the Super Scion 2. Unlike Android 18 who was indifferent and did not know exhaustion, Sun Goku was panting heavily at this time. Even the Super Scion state was almost unable to maintain. At this time, two waves suddenly flashed across the sea surface. The waves of air cut open the sea water. The figures of Vegeta and Chasley appeared in Sun Goku's sight. Humph, Kakarot, you are in a sorry state now. Vegeta floated alone in the air golden light floating. He was clearly in the Super Scion state. Vegeta, the other party is really strong. Sun Goku smiled bitterly at Vegeta. Humph. We can deal with this kind of trash robot alone. Kakarot, watch carefully. As he roared at Sun Goku, a golden light burst out from his body. He rushed toward Metal Dabura excitedly. Seeing that Vegeta was in a hurry to fight, 
Shasley also cooperated and went forward. The couple quickly found one of the metal Dabura, and began a fierce battle. Android 18 landed on the ground and carefully examined it for a while. He thought, the energy explosion of Super Scion only lasted for a moment. The strength of Vegeta and the others is similar to Sun Goku. Even if they join hands, they are not a match for the metal people. Where did these two metal come from? Suddenly, Android 18 glanced at the sea and a green light appeared in her sight. Upon closer inspection, they were also metal men. Her pupils suddenly shrank. Android 18 was shocked. Not good, there are far more than two metal men. Just as he was about to shout out, the metal dabber rushed out from all directions. Peng, 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 Sun Goku, Vegeta, Shasli were surrounded and attacked. They quickly vomited blood and retreated. How could this be? Why are there so many of them? Vegeta's face was ugly, and he roared with a livid face. Sun Goku, Vegeta, Shasli, Android 18 were surrounded by more than a dozen metal Dabura. Apart from Android 18 who still had the ability to resist, Sun Goku and the others were all mortal bodies. Even if they had enough immortal beans, they could not continue to fight. The situation became very bad. Crap, there are so many enemies. I wonder if Chi Chi and the others will be able to escape. Sun Goku said with a worried expression. Bastard, let's break out of the encirclement first. Vegeta roared in exasperation. He had originally thought that he would be able to show off in front of Sun Goku after finishing his training in the hyperbolic time chamber, but he had not expected that the enemy was far stronger than he had imagined. Vegeta, don't be rash. Sun Goku shouted loudly. However, Vegeta would not listen to Sun Goku. His figure flashed quickly and quickly fought with Metal Dabura. However, even if Vegeta's strength increased greatly after his training, he was still no match for Metal Dabura, who was in a metal state. It did not take long for Vegeta to fall into a complete disadvantage. At this time, other than Sun Goku and Chasli, Android 18 was not interested in saving him because she herself was facing the siege of more than a dozen metal Dabura. Damn it, these robots are too difficult to deal with. Android 18 shouted irritably. Whoosh! A straight ray fell from the sky like a long sword cutting through the void. It instantly separated the dozen or so metal Dabura in front of Android 18. Android 18 looked up and saw several figures appear in front of her. Mukio, Lazuli, Amelia, Lapis, Super Perfect Cell, Milif, and the others all came. A few illusory figures flashed by, and several metal Dabura were repelled by the ground. Are you all right? Mukio came to Android 18's side and said. Android 18 shook her head and stroked her messy hair, I'm fine. Do you know their identities? At this time, Melia and Melis teleported over and Broly also came over. Melia said, I have asked professionals. The original body of these metal is called Dabura, the ruler of Universe Demon Realm. However, because of all the reasons, they were transformed into metal bodies by higher star beings. Professionals. Android 18 tilted his head. A person called Wiss. Melis said lightly, the metal people here are only second class, and their strength is a little higher than Cell's full power form according to the information I received, the most powerful metal Dabura has close to 10 billion combat strength. Even the average Super Scion 2 is not their match. Unfortunately, the Big Get Star is now approaching the solar system. It will enter the solar system in about 10 days. Oh. Android 18 took a complete set of clothes from Lapis and put it on. In other words, Earth will face a great crisis in 10 days. Melia had a tranquil expression. For you guys. Super Perfect Cell and Milif had about 6 or 7 billion power level. Facing a super metal man of 10 billion level, there was a great danger, but for experts like Melia, Melis, and Broly, even if the highest level metal Dabura came, it was just a doll that could be killed easily. Cell, Milif, take out all your strength to clean up these metal men. Cold and ruthless orders. When Super Perfect Cell and Milif heard this, they immediately displayed strength that exceeded everyone's imagination. Super Perfect Cell released seven or eight little cell, and Milif also used the Super Scion 2 form to approach Metal Dabura, then used an extremely violent force to tear them apart. Seeing this, Vegeta said in horror, What's going on with that woman's Super Scion? Sun Goku said, I know. That's called Super Scion 2. It's an even more powerful transformation than Super Scion. Beretta was shocked. Super Scion 2. Sun Goku did not reply. He gasped and thanked Mukio. 
Thank you. Oh right, how are Chi Chi and the others doing? Mukyu said, I've seen them. I've already told them to wait in the lookout. Thank you. Sun Gaku let out a sigh of relief. On the other side, after confirming that the energy behind them had gradually subsided, Chi Chi and the others finally let out a sigh of relief. Then, following Mukyu's instructions, they flew towards the shrine. At this time, Trunks, who had come from another world, appeared in front of them. Aunt Chi Chi. Trunks said politely. Chi Chi introduced, he's the Trunks who took the time machine from the future. Krillin observed Trunks in surprise and said gratefully, so you are Trunks. It's all thanks to you this time. Without your reminder, we wouldn't even have known how we died this time. Looking at the area in the distance where fierce battles seemed to have taken place, Trunks asked, have you already encountered androids? Krillin sighed and said, we did. As you said, those two guys are too powerful. If not for Miss Melia and the others rushing over, we wouldn't have been able to keep our lives. Miss Melia. Trunks was puzzled. This was someone he didn't have. He organized his thoughts and said, the androids are indeed very powerful. Although they are young, they have eternal energy. In my time and space, all the warriors are at a disadvantage. Wait, what do you mean by the androids are young? Those two monsters don't look young at all. Metal Dabara looked middle-aged at first glance. It had nothing to do with his youth. What's going on? Did you make a mistake? Trunks frowned. Next, Krillin described the appearance of the metal dabber they had encountered. After listening, Trunks said, What you have encountered is not the androids in my memory. In my world, the androids who have harmed the world Android 17 and 18 are two young men and a woman. Android 17 was a black-haired youth with a scarf around his neck. Android 18 had the image of a young girl. She had golden hair and was dressed rather fashionably. They all had cold looks and wore golden earrings. Right, their eyes were blue they were quite beautiful. Wait, a man and a woman, black hair, and blonde hair, and blue eyes. I seem to have some impression of the two people you mentioned. Yam Sha frowned, feeling that he had seen the two people somewhere. Krillin said with a black face, I also seem to have seen them somewhere. Chapter 535 Listening to the features of the androids described by Trunks, Krillin, and Yam Sha had a similar feeling. The image of a pair of beautiful siblings could not help but appear in their minds. It was Lapis and Lazuli. However, even Krillin himself felt that it was inconceivable to say that they were androids from the Trunks world. There must be a mistake somewhere. Trunks, in your world, the androids killed all the warriors. Krillin confirmed again. Yes, Vegeta, Piccolo, and all of you including you, have all died at the hands of the androids. Over the past few decades, countless earthlings have died at their hands, so much so that when I came over on a time machine, there were only a few million survivors left in the world. If not for Brother Gohan protecting me, I wouldn't have been able to hold on until now. It was just that Brother Gohan was also killed by the androids in the end. Trunks had a sad look on his face. By the way, Brother Gohan is the son of Son Goku and Aunt Chi Chi. So miserable. No wonder the future Bulma wanted to create a time machine. Krillin frowned. This was the first time he had heard Trunks talk about another time and space with his own ears. The description of the person who had experienced it was different from what the others had told him. However, the child who was in another time and space was called Gohan. It seemed that the two times were indeed different. According to Trunks, if the two people just now weren't androids, then who exactly are we fighting against? Chi Chi asked nervously. I don't know. Perhaps because of my arrival, the history of this world has changed a lot. Trunks looked at Chi Chi and the others in a daze. He was a bit absent-minded. The so-called time and space of this world made him feel a sense of unfamiliarity. Tian Xinyan said, don't worry about these things for the time being. We will first meet up at the Divine Hall according to Miss Melia's instructions, and then we will discuss it in detail. Everyone nodded in agreement. At this time, Trunks asked in a daze, is the Divine Hall you were talking about the legendary palace located in the Heaven Realm? Yes, has Trunks never been to the Divine Hall? Trunks shook his head. In the era I lived in, the Divine Hall had already fallen in battle. Even Korin Tower was only left with half of it. Krillin was stunned, feeling sorrow for the future world. Just as the few of them were about to head to the temple. A flash of light flashed across the sky and an ancient-looking flying device flew to their side. 
Bulma poked his head out of the cockpit. Wait, Chi Chi. I'll go to the lookout with you. Take me with you. You haven't returned yet. Chi Chi asked in surprise. I was going to go back, but she urgently went back to save you, so she left me on a nearby island. After saying that, Bulma greeted Trunks, Hey, Trunks, you really came to this world too. Hello. Trunks nodded silently and looked at his young mother. Don't be nervous. I've been to another parallel world, so I've seen you from another world. Bulma's blue and purple eyes sparkled as he looked at Trunks with a smile. What? Trunks looked at Bulma in disbelief and cried out involuntarily. Although there were many questions in his heart that he wanted to ask, he could only endure it when he saw Bulma make a silencing gesture towards him. Why did the mother of this era seem to be different from the future? Moreover, she had actually been to another world. This was the reason why she had researched the time machine in advance. Trunks, whose heart was filled with countless questions, followed beside Krillin and the others. Then, the few of them moved in the direction of the shrine. Why, mother, can you go to another world? Trunks flew next to the Bulma's flying transport and couldn't help but ask. Call me aunt. The person I marry in this world is Gaku. Bulma said while driving the flying transport, as for why I was able to go to other worlds, it was mainly because I obtained another time machine. Because I accidentally went to another world. Then, in the explanation of Bulma, Trunks only understood what happened to Bulma. When he learned that this mother in front of him had a son with Son Gaku whose name was Son Goten, Trunks was stunned for a long time. Fortunately, he had been mentally prepared before, so Trunks quickly adjusted his mentality. So that's how it is. Auntie, your experience is really rich. After learning that the future of another time and space had been saved, Trunks' heavy heart relaxed a little. It seemed that androids were not invincible. The few of them quickly moved forward and quickly entered the territory of the sacred land of Korin. They flew straight up towards the tower. The towering building of the lookout soon appeared in front of everyone. Because it was the first time they saw the lookout, Trunks' eyes were filled with shock. He swore that he would never let this world fall into the apocalypse. In the lookout, Melia, Melis, and the others had arrived early because of instant transmission. They were now chatting with Kanalita and the others. On the side, Sun Gaku and Sun Gohan were chatting about their recent gains in cultivation. Vegeta and Chasli were leaning on the stone pillar of the lookout, looking at them coldly. Seeing Chi Chi, Trunks, and the others arrive, Sun Gaku and the others went up to greet them. This was the first time Trunks had seen Sun Gok in person. Because he had been influenced by Sun Gok and Bulma in the future, he was full of curiosity towards this legendary warrior. However, when he saw Sun Gok standing together with Bulma, he still felt strange in his heart. At this time, Trunks' gaze swept over Lazuli, Lapis, and Android 18. His expression suddenly changed, as if he had seen his mortal enemies. His eyes were red, and his entire body flashed with a violent aura. Android 17, Android 18, you guys are actually here. With a loud shout, Trunks transformed into the form of a super scion, then pulled out the sword on his back and rushed towards Lapis and the others. Wait, Trunks, you misunderstood. Bulma hurriedly shouted. At this time, Lapis, who was whispering to Mukio, saw an unfamiliar youth rushing towards her, and it was obvious that he had killing intent. She was stunned in her heart, and then she raised her eyebrows, disdainfully extending a finger towards Trunks. Clang! Two slender white fingers caught the sword, and Trunks' attack came to a sudden halt. Switching positions, Lazuli got close to Trunks and extended a finger towards the center of his brows. With a snap of his fingers, Trunks gave a loud cry and his body shot out of control. A storm swept away in place, and Trunks flew dozens of meters away. His feet landed on the ground, and the sword slid into the ground, shooting out sparkling sparks. He was pushed back several meters before the impact was dissipated. By the time he stabilized, he was forced to withdraw from his super scion form. Trunks gasped for breath and was stunned to find that his attacks had no effect at all. His face couldn't help but reveal an expression of disbelief. How is this possible? How can the strength of Android 18 be so strong? After many years of training in the future world, the strength of a 20-year-old Trunks was already comparable to that of the android in his world, but here, he couldn't even withstand a single finger of the other party. Young man, why are you attacking my wife? Mukiu stepped forward, and a terrifying pressure enveloped Trunks. Your wife. 
Trunks widened his eyes as he looked at the girl in front of him. Upon closer inspection, he discovered that the other party was actually a man. However, what made him even more astonished was that Android 18 was actually married. Yes, Lapis is my wife. Shouldn't you explain your actions just now? Mukia once again defended his wife. Although it felt unpleasant to be attacked for no reason, she was very happy to see Mukia protect her like this. And Android 18, who was next to her, saw everything. She, who came from another world, had probably guessed the identity of Trunks. At this time, she was folding her arms across her chest and putting on an appearance of watching a good show. Mukio, you misunderstood. This child is called Trunks, a scion from another world. The reason why he attacked her was because he regarded her as an android. Chi Chi hurriedly stepped forward to explain. At this time, Bulma also stepped forward and winked at Trunks. Trunks, you really have mistaken her for someone else. She really isn't an android in your heart. In terms of seniority, you have to call her aunt. What do you mean? Trunks came back to his senses at this time. He carefully sized up Lazuli and Lapis and discovered that the other party was indeed a little different from the androids of his world. The world's Lapis actually had the aura of energy. When he looked at Android 18 who was standing beside him with a cold smile, his pupils couldn't help but shrink. There were actually two Android 18. Chapter 536 Lazuli is Aunt Cipriel's daughter, and Aunt Cipriel is my mother's sister. So according to our relationship, I should call Lazuli my sister. Bulma gave Trunks a look. Bulma's sister was naturally the aunt of Trunks. It was the same regardless of whether it was in terms of bloodline or relationship. Ah! Trunks found it hard to believe that Android 18 was actually his mother's sister. In other words, the android in his dimension was also his relative. The corners of Krillin, Yamsha, and the others' mouths twitched. They thought to themselves, sure enough, the androids in the future dimension are precisely Lazuli and the others, and all of us will be killed by them. This is truly unimaginable. All right, the few of you stop messing around. Mukio, put away your power. Trunks, this world is different from your place. You already know this. What we have to worry about next is not the androids, but the big get star that is about to arrive on Earth. According to the metal bodies that were destroyed before, their strength is far beyond your imagination. Mukio nodded and said, the strength displayed by the metal bodies before is only a little weaker than the super-perfect form Shalu. If a large-scale invasion really happens, among us, apart from me, Amelia, Sal, and Milif, who have a little resistance, even Lazuli and the others are in danger. Sun Goku said with a solemn expression, Mukio is right. The power of those metal bodies is far beyond our imagination. Unless all of us reach the Super Scion 2 realm, our chances of winning are not high. Are the opponents you met before really that powerful? Due to the late arrival of Trunks, he did not meet up with Metal Dabura. By the way, Mr. Gaku, what is the form of the Super Scion 2 you mentioned just now? Sun Gaku heard Trunks' question and swept his gaze towards Mukio. Mukio said, Super Scion 2 is another form of transformation on the basis of Super Scion. Its strength far exceeds that of Super Scion by several times. Seeing that Trunks looked like he couldn't understand, Mukio scratched his head and simply turned into a Super Scion in front of everyone. Then, under the golden light, he underwent a level 1 transformation, his energy becoming stronger and stronger. From ordinary level Super Scion, body transformation to ascended level Super Scion, then achieved full power Super Scion based on supreme body transformation. These are the three forms of Super Scion first stage, and above them are Super Scion 2. After saying that, Mukio shouted in a dark voice, and his entire body flashed with silver lightning. His golden hair became even straighter, and an energy that was twice as strong as Super Scion erupted. Vegeta looked at the form Mukio displayed with hot eyes. Yes, this is the transformation that the woman called Milif displayed before. Super Scion 2 is my next target. I will definitely reach it. Beretta clenched his fist and secretly swore. At this time, Trunks was a little dumbfounded. With his meager martial arts foundation, he could not understand the state Mukio displayed. However, the warrior's intuition made him faintly know the strength of the other party. If I can reach Mr. Mukio's strength, no, as long as I surpass the ordinary Super Scion, it will be enough to kill the artificial human of my world. Because the experts of the future world had withered and martial arts had declined, no one had ever explained the difference between Super Scion to him. 
Therefore, when he saw Mukia become a Super Scion Super Scion, he was already unable to imagine it. He did not expect that there would be a higher level of transformation later on. The android of a parallel world only had a power level of a few billion, and reaching the state of surpassing was enough to defend world peace. Mukia removed the Super Scion transformation and said, Out of all of us, other than the two mothers and Broly, only me, Amelia, Milif, and Cell have reached the Super Scion level 2. If a large-scale invasion occurs, Earth will become very dangerous. Krillin frowned in distress and said resentfully, Even if we have the strength to reach the other side, Earth can't withstand such a powerful energy, right? Although it had been strengthened by the Earth Dragon Ball, to be honest, the strengthened Earth would not be able to withstand such a terrifying attack. Melia said, That's why we have to move the battlefield as far away from Earth as possible. According to reliable information, the higher star will enter the solar system in 10 days. There is not much time left for us. You have to reach the strength to resist them within 10 days. Then we can only rely on the hyperbolic time chamber. Kanalita said. However, 10 days was too short, so she looked at the two master's wives for help. Although she did not know much about the strength of the wives, if they were willing to make a move, it should be easy for them to compete with the big get star right? Melis said, Melia and I will protect Earth. I will leave the battle of the big get star to you. As the last mountain rock, Melia and Melis will protect the safety of Earth, and if the battlefield is placed outside the solar system, the main force of the battle will be Mukiu and the others. To be honest, the higher star invasion this time was nothing to them. Even if Broly or Fusion Android 18 made a move, they could easily win. It was better to use this as an opportunity to train the children of the new generation. Therefore, Melia and the others did not even take out a big move to use the Dragon Ball to make a wish to transfer the solar system. Vegeta said, I want the first day of the hyperbolic time chamber with Shasli. Sun Goku said, then I want the next day. I want the third day. Mukio, Lapis and the others all snatched the remaining time. Because there was only a total of 10 days, a few groups of people were gone, so it was basically very difficult to have a second chance to enter. At this time, Trunks had already recovered from his shock. From the words of everyone, he roughly understood that the S hyperbolic time chamber was a place for training. He took a deep breath and said, Seniors, please allow me to join in training. I also hope to become stronger. Then, young man called Trunks, you can go in with Cell. I will let him train you well. Melia said. Thank you, I will work hard. Trunks bent down and thanked him politely. As long as he could grow again, even if he could not defeat the so-called Big Get Star, it would be of great help to save his own world. Trunks had cultivated for many years, and what he lacked was the guidance of an expert. Melia's clear eyes swept across the crowd. I can provide everyone with enough senzu beans and tree of life fruits. Of course, Bulma also has a spare gravity room. I only hope that you will work hard to improve your strength in the next days. No problem. We can't wait to go in. Everyone rubbed their palms together and prepared for the battle ten days later. After that, all the people who entered the hyperbolic time chamber were determined. Day 1, Vegeta and Chasli. Day 2, Sun Goku and Sun Goten. Day 3, Mukiu and Lazuli. Day 4, Amelia and Lapis. Day 5, Trunks and Cell. Day 6, Android 18 and Milif. Day 7, Piccolo and Yajirobe. Day 8, Krillin and Yamsha. Day 9, Tian Xinyan and Tietsu. Day 10, Chi Chi and Sun Hong Yi. They hoped that after 10 days, they would be able to grow by leaps and bounds. Of course, because there were enough immortal beans and spiritual tree fruits, and with the help of the gravity room, everyone's improvement could be expected. In another dimension, Muyang was traveling with April. April was holding Gaia as if she was holding a blue bolster. Gaia was obediently lying in April's arms, not letting out a yi 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 sound. Since following Muyang, Gaia's small life had been very enjoyable and not too comfortable. Suddenly, Muyang received a signal from Earth through a special communication device. April rested her head on Gaia's head, her chin resting on Gaia's cold body. Brother, is there any news? Muyang said, Earth encountered a strong enemy invasion, but they were no match for Melia and the others. It was just that through this incident, they thought that Earth might be visited by more enemies in the future, so they hoped that we could think of a way to strengthen the strength of Earth. Do you want to make another wish with the Dragon Ball? April tilted her head and said. 
Muyang laughed out loud, if it's a dragon ball, how can it compare to a super dragon ball? Coincidentally, after joining the time patrol, Muyang was bestowed with the power of time. At the same time, he also understood the language used by the gods. It was perfect for him to try it out. Thinking that Earth would become the birthplace of Majin Bu and the God of Destruction in the future, Muyang felt that it was really necessary to strengthen it. Speaking of the God of Destruction incident, would the God of Destruction Lord Beerus come to Earth? Muyang felt that there was a high probability that he would still do it. Not to mention that this was both the inertia of history, just by staying on Earth alone, the possibility of Lord Beerus coming was greatly increased. Chapter 537 Having made up his mind to use the Super Dragon Ball to strengthen Earth's defense, Muyang had no choice but to put aside the travel in other small worlds and start preparing to collect Super Dragon Ball. To collect Super Dragon Ball, one had to enter the multiverse. Currently, there were four whole multiverse in the sea of time and space, which meant that there were a total of four Super Dragon Balls that Muyang could obtain. However, considering that the Earth that needed to be strengthened was in the third universe, Muyang and April returned to the universe they lived in. There were a total of seven Super Dragon Balls in the entire set. They were scattered in Universe 7 and Universe 6. Because of the experience he had collected last time, Muyang was very familiar with the entire process. He took out the Dragon Ball radar and checked. The radar showed three Super Dragon P Balls that existed in Universe 7, and the other four were located in Universe 6. Muyang glanced at April beside him and said, I'll send you to Planet Wudeo. Gaia, help me take care of April. April chuckled and said, I'm not that delicate. Gaia, on the other hand, Yiya nodded. Don't worry. You are pregnant now. Of course, you have to be careful. Muyang smiled and rubbed her slightly curly hair, sending her and Gaia to Axirolation World. Next was to find Universe 7 Super Dragon Ball. Every time the Super Dragon Ball finished making a wish, it would spread out in a regular pattern to Universe 7 and Universe 6. Due to the last wish, Three Super Dragon Balls returned to Universe 7 after dispersing. Therefore, Muyang quickly used the Dragon Ball radar to lock onto the coordinates of these Dragon Balls. He instantly moved and activated it. A spatial ripple that was light like smoke and dust spread out, and Muyang's figure gradually disappeared into the vast void. In a distant galaxy, a glass planet that was several times larger than Earth steadily stopped on a small asteroid belt. Because of the gravitational effect of great mass, the original asteroid belt had changed. Countless tiny meteors surrounded the Super Dragon Ball in the middle, forming a beautiful astrolabe. Suddenly, there was a flash in the air, and a handsome figure appeared. His black hair danced in space, and his pair of starry eyes shone with an intimidating light. Muyang approached the Super Dragon Ball and looked up. Two bright red stars flashed on the surface of the orange-red Dragon Ball. Because the Super Dragon Ball had taken a special physical rule when it was created, no matter which angle one looked at it from, the red planet inside was exactly the same. Muyang knew that this was because of the powerful gravitational field inside the Dragon Ball. April had once shattered the Earth's Dragon Ball and studied it. The answer she got was that the Dragon Ball had dark star substances similar to black holes. Every beam of light emitted from the Dragon Ball was strongly restrained, forming a layer of lens. The first Super Dragon Ball has been found. Let's put it in acceleration world first. With a thought, Acceleration World's rules descended from the sky, and then like a giant doughty beast that devoured all things, it swallowed the Super Dragon Ball in one bite. And without the powerful gravity of the Super Dragon Ball, the astrolabe formed by the Super Dragon Ball suddenly broke apart, and the scattered meteors flew everywhere like headless flies. The asteroid belt that was not very stable suddenly became even more chaotic. It would take at least a thousand years to stabilize again. However, this was not something Muyang had to care about. After obtaining the first Super Dragon Ball, Muyang quickened his pace and quickly headed for the second Super Dragon Ball. Gathering Super Dragon Balls was unimaginable for ordinary people, but for Muyang who had Acceleration World and Dragon Ball Radar, it was an easy task. A few hours later, all three Super Dragon Balls of Universe 7 entered Acceleration World. Looking at the three huge stars that were stable in Acceleration World, Muyang left Acceleration World and headed for Universe 6. Compared to the last time, with the identity of a member of the Time Patrol in charge of the safety of the multiverse, there was no need to greet the angels in the universe. Therefore, Muyang did not contact the Angel Vados of Universe 6 and directly entered Universe 6. Opening the Dragon Ball radar, 
the signal that represented the four Super Dragon Balls of Universe 6 appeared on the radar. Muyang nodded and teleported to the position of the Super Dragon Ball. Just as Muyang was collecting the Super Super Dragon Balls quickly, on Earth, Vegeta and Chasley were training hard in the spiritual time house. For the Scion Prince who valued his self-esteem more than anything, after learning the realm of Super Scion, he would not allow himself to fall behind again. In the vast and vast white world, Vegeta was sweating profusely as she trained. Suddenly, she shouted, and the muscles all over her body swelled up. Her strength suddenly increased by a lot. No, that's not it. Although this state has increased my strength, it has sacrificed my speed. It is not the Super Scion 2 I want. Vegeta shook his head and glanced at his wife beside him. Charlie was floating in the air with her legs crossed, and the powerful air waves swept away the dust on the ground. Suddenly, Vegeta's eyes lit up. She seemed to have been inspired, and the corners of her mouth curled up, revealing a smile. Ha ha ha, I understand. Super Scion 2 is not only an increase in strength, but also the mastery of energy. The state of Super Scion is a huge burden to the body. If the rigid increase in strength is not achieved, the body may be crushed first. Although in essence, Super Scion 2 is the advancement of Super Scion 1, I can't blindly follow the old path. So in terms of control of Ebergy, I need to improve it. His eyes became brighter and brighter, and he felt that he had found a direction. Beretta was a genius to begin with, especially after seeing the Super Scion 2 forms of Milif and Mukyu, he had a certain understanding of this state. Swoosh! A terrifying aura pervaded the hyperbolic time chamber, and then silvery white lightning appeared. The winding lightning crackled and beat. Vegeta raised his head, enjoying the satisfaction brought by the strong power. On the other side, Shasli felt the terrifying power that erupted from Vegeta's body. She immediately retreated from the meditation and said happily, Congratulations, you have reached the Super Scion 2 state first. Vegeta laughed in satisfaction. Shasli, I will help you advance to Super Scion 2. Okay. Shasli smiled and nodded. Her delicate face was full of smiles. On the other side, Sun Goku and Mukia didn't waste time when Chasley and Vegeta were bitterly cultivating in the hyperbolic time chamber. They all entered the gravity room and fought for every minute. In the few days when the original work went to the nemesis of Gohan and Sun Goku used Senzu beans to practice on the edge of life and death. At this moment, Amelia provided a sufficient amount of Senzu beans and hyperbolic time chamber. Sun Goku's training was even more crazy. When Vegeta and Chasley came out of the spiritual time house, Son Goku's strength had obviously improved. Vegeta was wearing a ragged combat suit, and his face was full of proud smile. Goku, I'm already one step ahead of you. Son Goku said nonchalantly, I'll be able to catch up soon. Tsk. Vegeta looked at Son Goku with a faint smile. The improvement of his strength made him feel extremely good. He did not express his unwillingness to admit defeat to Son Goku. Then, he went to change into a brand new combat suit with Chasley. Well, it's finally our turn. Goten, are you ready to cultivate in purgatory? Sun Goku moved his wrist. Yes, I'm ready, Sun Goku said seriously. Then let's go in. Sun Gohan clapped his hands and led Sun Hong Yi into the hyperbolic time chamber. Chapter 538 Goku and the others are becoming more and more powerful. What this era needs is experts. The old Kami looked towards Piccolo with a wrinkled face, it seems like the time for the fusion is about to arrive. Truth be told, I never thought that there would be a day when I would actually merge with you. Piccolo had an indifferent expression, I also didn't think of that. Hee <laughs> hee. The old Kami smiled easily. He was also much more open-minded. Sensing the invasion of a powerful enemy, the old Kami who was about to reach the end of his life finally chose to merge with Piccolo, turning his soul and bloodline into potential and merging with Piccolo. He returned to being the original genius dragon race. This fused out Narmikian is both called Piccolo and Ma Jr. Everyone was working hard in their training. Trunks was naturally no exception. One had to know that in the world that Trunks lived in, martial artists and Dragon Ball warriors had long been submerged in the flow of history. The only remaining warrior, Sun Gohan, had not received any formal training, so Trunks had basically not undergone any systematic martial arts training. One had to know that the core of Earth's martial arts lay in the control of Ki. One could even defeat the stronger when they had an exquisite grasp of it. However, 
that kind of martial arts concept that was deeply ingrained in the culture would definitely require a long time of exploration. This was what Trunks lacked. Trunks, I know that you want to save your world, so I'll be training you now. There isn't much time left. How much you can learn depends on yourself. When you enter the hyperbolic time chamber, only Cell will temper you. Don't think that he will show you mercy. Melia wore an elegant dress, giving off a feeling of swift and decisive. I understand. Please advise me. When Trunks heard this, his entire body suddenly shook and he shouted excitedly. Melia nodded and then began to instruct Trunks on martial arts. Because time was limited, Melia didn't have the time to gradually correct the mistakes on Trunks' body. Instead, she picked a few key points to improve Trunks' martial arts training as much as possible. Trunks listened seriously as if he was drinking wine. Because he had experienced with training, listening and listening to him made Melia's words and actions filled with charm. Often, a simple sentence would make Trunks feel enlightened. Half a day later, Melia ended his teaching of Trunks and let him digest it alone. Right at this moment, the entire sky was suddenly suffused with a golden glow, and the entire earth seemed to be covered in a layer of dazzling and resplendent outer clothes. What is going on? Everyone was shocked by the phenomenon that occurred on Earth. Could it be that an enemy has invaded? Don't worry. This is Muyang strengthening the structure of the Earth. You will soon see a different Earth. Melis smiled and pointed to the golden liquid that gradually gathered from the sunlight in the sky. Along with her soft voice, those golden drops fell from the sky, like the light rain in the early spring, nourishing everything. The strength of the Earth continued to increase. Kanalita, who controlled the central lookout of the Earth, first felt the change of the Earth. In her perception, the Earth's crust and Earth's mantle were enhanced by a mysterious force, and the hot magma inside the core was replaced by the golden liquid bit by bit. Kanalita had a feeling that even if the Earth was under the direct attack of Super Scion 2 at this time, only the surface of the mountain would be damaged, and it would absolutely not harm the interior of the planet. In essence, the Earth strengthened by the Super Dragon Ball had already surpassed the divine planet of Supreme Kai's world in terms of strength. Even if the God of Destruction level fought on the planet, they would not be able to destroy the Earth at once. If Supreme Kai knew that there was a planet stronger than Supreme Kai in the mortal world, it was unknown how shocked they would be. Of course, the Earth was no different from ordinary planets without external forces. It was not affected by reclaiming land and developing construction. With such a strong and sturdy planet, Muyang and the others no longer had to worry about the destruction of the Earth. Among the few people, the happiest one was Kanalita. Although after entering the new era, the power of Kanalita was slightly behind that of Sun Goku and the others, but her responsibilities were the heaviest. Muyang's actions were equivalent to helping her solve her worries. How is it? Are you satisfied? Melia said beside Kanalita. Kanalita nodded happily. Of course. In the future, we won't have to worry about anyone blowing up Earth anymore. As long as you're happy. The Earth Dragon Ball has already disappeared with the disappearance of the old Kami. I don't want to use the power of the name Kians to restore Earth. However, there can't be a lack of Dragon Balls on Earth. In any case, you can think about it yourself. I understand. I will think about it. After all, as a god of Earth, Kanalita had her own judgment. The sun rose from the east and set in the west. Day and night alternated. Soon, ten days passed. At this time, Sun Goku and the others all completed a round of cultivation. Everyone had achieved great achievements. In terms of the number of Super Saiyan 2, there were more than a dozen of them than in the original work. At this time, the white star that was higher than the star was about to enter the solar system. The enemy has already entered the solar system. I'll leave the following battles to you guys. Feel free to test the results of your training in the past few days. After Melia finished speaking, Kanalita picked up her divine staff and used the Earth's divine power to bless Sun Goku and the others. This divine power can probably support you in an environment without oxygen for an hour. Everyone, the safety of the Earth will be left to you. Don't worry, Miss Kanalita. We will protect the Earth well. One hour is enough. Everyone was filled with enthusiasm and could not help but let out a long and excited roar. Vegeta twisted his neck and made a click sound. Kakarot, I know you must have reached the state of Super Saiyan 2. Let's compare who has killed more enemies. Sun Goku chuckled. All right, I'll compete with you. Mukia revealed a smile. Amelia, Lazuli, should we compete too? Sure. Sure. 
Both Amelia and Lapis nodded, but Android 18 disagreed. I'm not interested. Mukiu said, according to the number, as long as there is one more than me, I will reward you with 10 million. Android 18 did not hesitate at all. Then there is no problem. I just happen to lack pocket money. Hehe, <laughs> Lapis is still so easy to talk to. Melia looked at Android 18 and activated his superpower. A green ball of light rose into the air and covered everyone. In an instant, everyone was moved to the edge of the solar system. Everyone, the power level competition has begun. Sun Goku shouted and rushed toward the big get star. After that, Vegeta, Mukiu, and Cell followed closely behind. They saw a series of sparkling and translucent streaks of light flash through the void, and they interrupted the advance of the taller star. Broly, how long do you think it will take for them to destroy the big get star? In the lookout, Melia sensed the situation at the edge of the solar system. The warriors dispatched this time were extremely gorgeous. The Super Scion Level 2 alone, including Sun Goku, Vegeta, Cell, Milif, had 12 of them. In addition to the super strong new Piccolo, there were about 13 people. Not to mention Mukiu and Amelia, whose strength was infinitely close to Super Scion Level 3 after being tempered in the hyperbolic time chamber. Broly sat on the ground with a calm expression. If Big Get Star doesn't have a trump card, then half an hour is enough. Melia chuckled. I think so too. At this time, Sun Goku came with a bottle of wine. You guys are really calm. There is a battle outside that concerns the safety of Earth. It's just some chickens and pottery dogs, Melia said in a very domineering manner. Sun Goku was speechless for a moment. He found that he had no common language with these strong people. They were clearly standing on the same front to defend against the enemy decades ago. Chapter 539 The dark outer space was shrouded by a nebula. At the edge of the solar system, a huge white planet was slowly moving toward the interior of the planet system. Suddenly, a loud boom echoed in space. Bright light rays and waves rippled out, and the violent energy overturned the outer defense of the planet higher than the outer layer. Inside the planet, the highest life form on the Big Get Star quickly detected the energy reaction of the outside world. The intense alarm immediately responded. The scouter detected 20 terrifying energies, and 13 of them, were even more extraordinary. In the next second, all the waiting metal Dabura was awakened at the same time and rushed towards the intruders. At the same time, the highest metal body automatically determined the threat level of the invasion and activated the highest defense. The central star has been attacked. Activate the highest defense. First level metal body is fully activated. Super metal body is waiting to be awakened. Countless densely packed tank-like objects rose from the ground. In addition to the metal Dabura that had awakened before, the green metal body formed an array. Like locusts, they stepped out of the hibernation room in the cabin. Following the command of the highest life form, they all rushed to the enemy. There were so many of them that it made one scalp tingle. These green-colored metal Dabura were the first batch of metal warriors created by Big Get Star using Dabura's body. Their strength was slightly weaker than the semi-retrofit of Dabura when he was alive. However, they had also reached the level of a complete cell. Their power level was around 4 billion. Of course, these metal bodies were not a big threat to Sun Goku and the others. However, there were too many of them. Each of the green dots of light was a metal warrior. There were more than 10,000 of them. This was the first batch. After that, the special metal bodies and super metal bodies that were waiting to be awakened were even more powerful. Warriors of Big Get Star, destroy the intruders completely. The command of the highest life form of Big Get Star was issued coldly. The command was transmitted to the core controller of every metal warrior in a 1 in 10,000 second. Kill. 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 The bloodthirsty killing intent made people feel cold. These many Big Get Star metal bodies arrived in front of Sun Goku and the others. Then, they set up a formation in the space, and their scarlet eyes suddenly lit up. Suddenly, they roared wildly. As if they had found prey, they swarmed toward Sun Goku and Mukiu. In the blink of an eye, the densely packed figures occupied the entire field of vision. When they looked up, they saw a vast expanse of green. Sun Goku grinned, and his forehead could not help but drip with cold sweat. My God! This number is too much. It seems that we are in big trouble. Vegeta said coldly, no matter how many come, I will destroy them all. After saying that, a violent golden light flashed. Vegeta was the first to turn into a super scion. 
his dark eyes showed a cold green color. With a flash of cold light, Vegeta rushed directly to the green metal body. Then, the battle is starting. Shasli followed closely behind. A cold light flashed in her eyes. Together with the energy released by Vegeta from the other side, the magnificent energy waves gathered together. The deep and vast starry sky was immediately filled with magnificent energy. Sun Goku did not want to fall behind. He roared and also burst out with the most powerful strength. Super Saiyan was the most powerful when he was emotional. Facing the enemy, Vegeta showed a more decisive killing intent than Sun Goku. Crash! Endless energy wreaked havoc and blew away the debris in the starry sky. When all the warriors exerted strength together, the quiet starry sky of the universe suddenly boiled. A huge energy wave swept through the sky. Suddenly a hole rushed out of a green back. The metal dabara that was swept by the energy instantly melted and turned into a pool of molten iron. Lazuli, Android 18, fight with all your strength for the earth behind you. Muki roared, his white face full of fighting spirit. Okay. Lazuli shouted coldly. She glanced at the metal bodies and then clenched her fists. Her slender body suddenly burst out a ball of amazing energy. Lazuli suddenly flashed and shot out like a cannonball. All the metal bodies in front of her were smashed by her fists. Soon, the green limbs scattered in space like raindrops. Android 18 was not to be outdone. Her blue eyes flashed with a glimmer of light. With a light shout, her body turned into a ball of fire and almost smashed a metal body with one punch. The effect of training in this period of time was reflected. As artificial people with eternal energy, Lazuli and Android 18 would not feel tired. In addition, the terrifying energy far exceeded that of ordinary metal Dabara. Compared to big Get Star metal warriors, the metal body was only ravaged. Pa! A palm slapped, and a metal body was directly smashed into pieces. Peng! 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 Swoosh the metal fragments collided in space. Not far from Android 18 and the others, Super Perfect Cell released more than a dozen of cell. Each cell did not show any mercy when they killed the metal. On the other side, Amelia, Milif, and the others also displayed extraordinary performances. As the metal Dabara continued to decrease, the scales of victory began to tilt towards them. At this time, the special class metal warriors who were stronger than Big Get Star also appeared. The bodies of the special class metal warriors emitted a silvery white color. Their energy directly reached the level of perfect cell. Fortunately, there were not many silver metal bodies like this. Mukyu and Amelia were enough to deal with them. Son Goku, leave these silver enemies to me and Amelia. You go and eliminate those green ones. Mukio shouted at Son Goku and the others. He swung his arm, and the violent energy burned like a sun. Son Goku and the others had just entered the Super Saiyan level 2. They were more than enough to deal with the green metal bodies. However, they were still a bit powerless against the silver white metal Dabara. When they heard Mukio's voice transmission, they also listened to the arrangements and instantly completed the division of labor. Bang! Trunks was being besieged by two metal bodies. He turned his body and a ball of energy condensed in his hand and shot towards one of them. At this time, another metal body approached Trunks' body. The violent attack hit Trunks' body. Trunks' face paled and he spat out a mouthful of blood. After all, he lacked the foundation of martial arts. Even if he had been training like a filler, he still lacked experience in high-level battles. At this time, Shasli suddenly appeared beside Trunks and helped him out. I heard that you are the son of Vegeta from another time and space. Shasli asked Trunks as she unleashed her energy. Yes. Trunks admitted straightforwardly. As the son of Vegeta, you are not domineering enough. At this time, there is nothing to hesitate about. Take out all your strength. I think that no matter which world's Vegeta is, she will not hope that her son is a waste. Shasli looked at Trunks indifferently. Her golden hair fluttered as she finished speaking, and her body headed in another direction. Trunks looked at the back of Shasli in a daze and a smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. The wife of my father in this world is quite decisive. Next, I will work even harder. After dealing with the enemies here, I will go back and save my own world. Trunks was suddenly enlightened. At this moment, a sense of heroism lingered in his chest. He was full of confidence in the future, and his energy had actually improved significantly. The intense battle lasted for more than 10 minutes. The energy consumption of Super Saiyan was very intense. After the initial period of eruption, the strength of Sun Goku, 
Vegeta and the others could not avoid failing. However, what made people happy was that the warriors on the higher star were also decreasing rapidly. The battle had progressed to this point, so it was naturally not suitable for them to disperse and fight. Therefore, everyone gathered together. In front of the terrifying energy that erupted from them together, the green metal body was destroyed by them easily. Chapter 540 Half an hour after the battle with the Big Get Star, the ordinary green metal warriors had been completely wiped out. A few silvery-white warriors were gradually reduced under the combined efforts of Mukiu, Amelia, Lapis, and the others. Seeing that the battle was about to end, the Big Get Star Super Warrior Gabs Dabura finally woke up after a long call. The Golden Warriors were the ultimate combat strength of the Big Get Star. Their strength far surpassed the green metal bodies and the silver metal bodies. From the beginning of the battle, they displayed incomparably tyrannical strength. Even Mukiu and the others were almost no match for them. In the end, it was only after Android 18 and Lapis combined their fusion skills to form Android 18 that they were finally able to eliminate them. Pang! Big Get Star's subordinates were all destroyed, followed by the main culprit, Big Get Star. It was detected that the Golden Warrior was also destroyed. Originally, it came to Earth to obtain more energy to achieve the purpose of leveling up. The highest life form of Big Get Star almost crashed. The next escape became its first choice. However, how could such a huge higher star escape the sight of Sun Goku and the others? In the end, in the joint attack, a violent solar flare appeared in the periphery of the solar system. Big Get Star and its countless warriors were drowned by the turbulent sea of energy, turning into dust in the universe. At this point, a crisis that threatened Earth was solved by Sun Goku in outer space before it arrived on Earth. Of course, there were still some sacrifices in the entire battle. For example, Krillin, Yamsha, and the others went to the other world to report because they were not strong enough. To revive them, they needed to borrow the power of the Dragon Ball. For this reason, the newborn Piccolo specially made a trip to the new planet Namek and resurrected them through the power of the Dragon Ball. At the same time, when he returned, he brought back a young Namekian named Dende. Dende was a genius dragon clan. The Earth Dragon Ball was quickly revived by Dende. It should be said that it was worthy of being a genius with the talent of the dragon race. The process of reviving the Dragon Ball looked very easy. Moreover, the newly created Earth Dragon Ball inherited the advantages of the planet Namek Dragon Ball. It could fulfill three wishes at a time. At the same time, Dende also said that if the wish was to resurrect many people at once, it would consume the Dragon Ball's wish power. The number of wishes would change from three to two. But no matter what, the ability of the Dragon Ball was strengthened. After the event ended, Trunks was about to return to his own world. Sun Gohan, a generation of Grand Master, personally trained Trunks in the hyperbolic time chamber for a year. Although Sun Gohan's strength is not comparable to Trunks, but literacy, Trunks is absolutely not comparable to Sun Gohan. Especially when he knew that Sun Gohan was Sun Goku's teacher, Trunks cultivated even more diligently. However, every time he called out the other person's name, the image of the one-armed brother Gohan would always appear in Trunks' mind. A day quickly passed in the outside world. A day in the outside world would be a year in the hyperbolic time chamber. This year, Trunks could be said to have been reborn and finally grew into a warrior who matched both strength and inner strength. His strength was even stronger than Sun Gohan in the original Cell game. Only a few people participated in the final farewell. When Trunks took a jar of Senzu beans from Melia with a face full of surprise, Trunks' expression was as if he had seen a ghost. He never knew that the container containing senzu beans could actually be used as a jar. Shouldn't it be a small pouch or a small box? Who knew why this Miss Melia had so many senzu beans in her hands? Thinking back to his own world, the regret of Sun Gohan leaving his arm behind because he couldn't bear to eat a senzu bean, Trunks felt more and more sad. Sure enough, the world was different. Thus, he held the small jar of senzu beans even more carefully. Trunks, you already have the ability to save your own world. You have to work hard. Bulma shouted at Trunks. N. Trunks nodded forcefully, his face full of confidence. Pay attention to Cell when you get back. The Cell on your side will appear in three years and will be as evil as the other androids. Melia reminded. Trunks glanced at Cell in the crowd and thought of the different natures of the androids in the two worlds. He nodded seriously, thank you for your reminder. Miss Melia. I already know. Piccolo said, the people who died on Earth can revive through the Namekian Dragon Balls. I have given you the planet coordinates. 
Thank you, everyone. Trunks said in a loud voice and then jumped onto the time light machine. Whoosh! The time machine slowly flew up. Through the transparent glass cover, Trunks waved goodbye to Sun Goku and the others. Then, he saw Vegeta and Chasley beside the big tree. Beside them stood a child named Alex. Their gazes met Trunks and Vegeta and Chasley nodded slightly at him. Goodbye, friends of this world. Trunks muttered as a warm current flowed through his heart. Then, he smiled and pressed the button for the time machine. Next, he would have to face the artificial human Android 17 and Android 18 of his world, as well as the threat of the future cell. However, after experiencing the training of Big Get Star, a few androids with over a billion combat strength were no longer his match. The future peace would soon descend. Outside the entire universe, in the vast sea of time and space, other than the four huge water balls, there were also countless specks of light that were like starlight attached to the surface of the sea. These specks of light could not be compared to the heads of the entire universe, but each of them was a small world. Muyang and April floated in the sea of time and space, their bodies surrounded by the power of time and space. Then, Muyang held onto April's hand and entered the world of the hidden treasures. Earth of the small world. A stone forest stood tall. For some reason, the surrounding environment had been severely damaged. The surroundings were full of broken walls and ruins. The earth was also covered with winding and terrifying cracks. On this day, the earth was covered in dark clouds. At this time, a battle that determined the life and death of the earth had already reached the final stage. Roar. A wild beast roared. A 50-meter tall giant ape slapped another 20-meter tall giant ape away. For a moment, the sky shook and the earth shook. A terrifying shock wave swept out in all directions. Gohan. In the messy pile of broken stones, a young man with a bare upper body was lying on the ground in pain. The bones of his hands and feet were all crushed. Not far from the young man, a bald man struggled to climb over. Gaku, we are doomed this time. I didn't expect Sion to be so powerful. The bald Krillin gasped for breath, and his face showed a desperate expression. Sun Gaku looked at the sky unwillingly. The ground trembled, and the giant ape who had slapped Sun Gaku away came to Sun Goku's side. It raised its foot and trampled Sun Gaku to death. Humph, pathetic lower level warriors, this is the result of defying our children. The giant ape, Vegeta, opened his blood-red eyes. His voice was cold, and his eyes were filled with a cold expression. Sun Goku smiled bitterly and waited for death to arrive. The warriors on Earth were all defeated. At this time, there was nothing to do. As for Sun Goku and the giant ape, Vegeta, they did not know that in a place where they were not paying attention, two vague figures suddenly flashed. Muyang held April's hand and appeared next to the stone pillar on the hill. April held Gaia in her arms and watched the scene in the distance with her beautiful eyes. Brother, we seem to have come to a small world formed with Earth as the foundation. Muyang said, this is a fragment world, only the size of the North area. After saying that, Muyang frowned and looked at Sun Goku, who was about to be trampled to death by the giant ape, Vegeta. Strange, shouldn't there be Yajirobe coming out to cut off Vegeta's tail at this time? But Sun Gohan has been sent flying. Why has Yajirobe not appeared yet? Muyang closed his eyes and quickly opened them in surprise. This planet actually doesn't have the aura of Yajirobe. This was a serious mistake. If Yajirobe had not appeared at this time to cut off Vegeta's tail, then Sun Goku would have died without a doubt. Although the little fatty in the original work was not very reliable, he played an important role at the critical moment. Chapter 541 Brother, aren't you going to save Sun Goku? April hugged Gaia in her arms and looked at Muyang with a calm expression. Because there were too many worlds to travel through, April also learned to treat different worlds with a normal heart. For example, the Sun Goku below did not matter whether he was saved or not. To them, it was insignificant. There was a feeling of being able to see through life like the God of Destruction, Lord Beerus. Of course, the God of Destruction, Lord Beerus, had comprehended a higher meaning because his realm was too high. However, April was completely indifferent to others. Muyang smiled and responded to April. A cyclone appeared on his fingertips. A sharp energy blade whistled out and an inch of light flashed. The target was aimed directly at the tail of Vegeta. Pang! A thick tail fell to the ground, kicking up a cloud of sand. The giant ape, Vegeta, let out a painful roar, and its body quickly shrank to the size of an ordinary person. Ah! 
who attacked me? Vegeta bowed, his face full of anger. Sun Goku and Krillin barely opened their eyes. Suddenly, they saw two figures appear on the mountain in the distance. Sun Goku said, it seems that we still have hope. Yes, another warrior bravely stood up, but I don't know if he is a match for the Scion. Krillin drooped his eyelids and struggled to regain his spirit. Vegeta noticed the sudden appearance of Muang and April. He endured the waves of pain coming from his body and his expression became even uglier. Good, good, good. In addition to Kakarot, there are actually people on Earth who are against our children. But then, Vegeta was speechless, because a terrifying hand knife fell on his body, directly knocking him out. At this time, Vegeta still has to speak less. Muyang said with a smile. Thank you. Sun Goku lay on the ground and expressed his gratitude with a weak voice. Walking to Sun Goku and Krillin, Muyang threw down two sensu beans and said, You don't have to thank me. Tell me what happened. Although this scion is strong, you shouldn't be in such a sorry state. Sun Goku was surprised that the other party had sensu beans in his hands. But now was not the time to think about these things. After eating the sensu bean, Sun Goku and Krillin's injuries all recovered. Krillin ran to check on Sun Goku's condition, while Sun Goku looked straight at Muyang. This look shocked him. Because he could not see through the other party at all, and he could not even sense his aura. After a pause, Sun Goku rubbed his head and said, I didn't expect this guy to be so powerful. I only managed to fight him with three times the Kaioken X3. But the other party suddenly turned into a gorilla. I am no match for him. Muyang nodded after hearing this. This was basically the same situation as in the original work, but the difference was that there was no Yajirobe here to kill Vegeta. You are so powerful. You knocked this scion out in one move. Sun Goku marveled at Muyang's strength. Not bad. It's more than enough to deal with a three-legged cat. Muyang said lightly. It was not a big deal for him to knock Vegeta out. However, this calmness made Sun Goku itch. If he did not know that he was no match for the other party, he would definitely launch a jump battle against Muyang. At this time, Krillin carried the unconscious Sun Gohan and flew over. April twisted Gaia into a ball and squeezed out a few drops of clear liquid from its body and sent it to Sun Gohan to wake him up. By the way, where is Yaki Lube? Muyang asked. Sun Goku was stunned for a moment and then said, Ah, you know Yajirobe? He is already dead. Muyang was a little surprised and asked, How did he die? A few years ago, he took too many sensu beans from Immortal Korin. There was one time when he was drunk and ate too much in one mouthful, and then he was stuffed to death. Although Sun Goku knew Yajirobe, there was no special situation, so he would not specially use the Dragon Ball to resurrect him. To think that he was stuffed to death by eating sensu beans. This fatty had finally received his retribution after hearing Sun Goku's words, Muyang did not know how to ridicule him. A few black lines appeared on his forehead. However, it was fine if he died. After all, Yajirobe was not of much use in the future. In addition, it was a different world. Muyang was not willing to care about the life and death of this small fry. After understanding the general situation of the current world from Sun Goku and determining the situation of the small world, Muyang nodded to April and the two disappeared without a trace from Sun Goku and the others. Looking at the two of them who had disappeared in a hurry, Sun Goku said emotionally, So there are so many powerful masters on Earth. It seems that I haven't worked hard enough before. Krillin held Sun Gohan in his arms and tied up Vegeta firmly. Then, he began to collect the corpses of his companions with Sun Goku. Looking at the corpses of his companions, Krillin's face was sad. He said fiercely, Goku, what are you going to do with this scion? Sun Goku shook his head. I don't know either. Why don't you do as you see fit? Because of the appearance of the stronger Muyang, Sun Goku did not target Vegeta so he lost interest in Vegeta. I understand. Krillin's actions were very decisive. He knew how to eliminate the roots when dealing with his enemies. Next. Bulma and Master Rashi, Chi Chi and the others of this world drove a spaceship to the wasteland and met up with Sun Goku and the others. In order to find a way to revive everyone, Sun Goku and the others decided to go to the planet Namek. However, all of this had nothing to do with Muyang and the others. At this time, Muyang and April were on their way to find Dr. Jero. According to the past communication with Android 18, April knew that although Dr. Jero had captured Android 18 and the others, he had yet to modify them. In other words, 
there were still a few more black stones in Dr. Jero's hands. Muyang flew all the way to the research institute in the north. When he approached a mountain range near the Arctic Circle, he found the entrance to Dr. Jero's research institute. The two of them landed on a collapsed rock wall at the side of the mountain. They aimed at the metal door on the rock wall and released a key wave. With a bang, the steel door was directly blown open. Dr. Jero was still adjusting the Android 16 inside. He heard the commotion outside and stopped what he was doing. When he realized that someone was attacking his base, Dr. Jero was furious. Who are you? How can you break into my lab? To create androids for revenge, what's the point of this kind of research? April looked at the misguided Dr. Jero with a complicated expression. After all, they had been colleagues for many years. Dr. Jero frowned, his eyes staring at April. Suddenly, his fingers trembled as he pointed at April. You are April. No, April has passed away for decades, and she is not as young as you. Bastard, could it be that someone stole April's genes? As a biological scientist, the first thought that came to mind was April in front of him was a man-made replica. He activated the Android 16 with a ferocious face and ordered, Android 16, kill these two people immediately, especially the one with April's appearance. Sorry, I refuse. Android 16 said woodenly. What did you say? I am your maker, you have to listen to my orders. Dr. Jero was flustered and exasperated as he took out the detonation device in his hand. April couldn't stand it anymore. A laser destroyed the detonator in Dr. Jero's hand. Jero, Android 16 is an android created with your son as the prototype. How can you bear to destroy him? Shut up, you damned woman. Dr. Jero's face was cold and his eyes were filled with killing intent. When Weang saw Jero's eyes, he could not help but snort coldly. Acceleration World activated his power and directly banished him to an uninhabited planet. He would spend the rest of his life on the wasteland planet. April sighed. Is this Gaia from another world? How pitiful. Muyang said, from the moment he joined the Red Ribbon Army, Dr. Jero was no longer a normal person. April nodded and said to Android 16, Android 16, take me to see the people who were captured by Jero. Android 16 nodded and opened the passage to the underground floor of the research room. Android 16 had a gentle personality and was easy to talk to. As long as he was not allowed to kill, verbal communication was the best choice. On the underground floor of the research room, there was a supercomputer running at full speed. There was another floor below this floor where the captives captured by Dr. Jero were imprisoned. There were about a dozen people, and each of them was very young. Originally, there were more people but many of them had died in the experiment. Chapter 542 Among the dozen or so people, April saw a familiar figure. Her finger touched Muyang's arm, and April whispered, It's Lazuli and Lapis. Muyang said, Go and comfort them. I'll find the whereabouts of Blackstone. All right. Then, Muyang began to search in Dr. Jero's research institute. He found a secret door behind the computer room. The secret door was connected to the third underground floor of the research institute. There, Muyang found two black stones in a life form. There was an embryo-like object in the training cabin. This embryo is not cell. Could it be the prototype of Android 21? However, at this time, Jero had not yet matured his theory. It was a waste of a black stone. In the entire sea of time and space, there was only one Android 21. It could be seen how difficult it was to throw an Android 21. In addition, without the cells of the Majin Bu, Android 21 could not be successfully nurtured. Regrettably, Muyang erased the embryo of Android 21. He put away the two black stones and returned to the first floor. There, all the captured people cried with joy. After April gave them a certain amount of food and currency, she asked them to go to the nearby cities to call the police. With the help of the police, these young people all found their own families. Only Lazuli and Lapis were an exception. They were now orphans. Android 16, are you willing to take care of them? April was distressed about how to take care of Lazuli and Lapis. The earth he lived on already had two Lazuli. It was impossible to take them back. Android 16 nodded. Yes. Excuse me, have I seen you somewhere before? A timid voice sounded. Lapis raised her head and looked at April. April shook her head and said, We have never seen it before. From now on, follow this big guy. Don't be filled with resentment towards the world because of your past experiences. 
Oh. Lapis nodded in disappointment, but in her heart, she felt that the other party had something to do with her. Finally, under the arrangement of Muyang and April, Lazuli and Android 16 lived in a suburban area of the South City. Muyang invested a lot of money to buy them real estate and large fields. It seemed that their family would be very prosperous in the future. This was the only thing that April could take care of them. After bidding farewell to Android 16 and the others, Muyang and April traveled in other places in this small world. On the way, they collected some beautiful planets to enter Acceleration World. As for Earth, it was too familiar. In addition, the people above all had them in their own world. Therefore, they did not collect them. After leaving this world, April already had two black stones in her hands. After that, she followed similar experiences to search for several worlds. However, black stones were originally mysterious things. Even in other small worlds, it was very rare to find their traces. It wasn't until Acceleration World 6 galaxies contained countless planets that the number of black stones in April's hands reached 12, which was barely enough for her to continue her research. By the way, during the journey, April gave birth to a little boy full of vitality from Wuyang. Coincidentally, the birth date of this little guy was also born in autumn, so after thinking about it, Muyang simply named him Mushin. Together with Mukiu, it meant autumn. Mushin was born with the ability to use magic. His talent could be said to be extremely high. Later, even Mukiu and Amelia felt that their younger brother would surpass them in the future. It's really troublesome to take care of children. Lazuli and Amelia were responsible for taking care of little Mushin. This was to train their maternal instincts, but in reality, it was April and Wuyang who did not have the time to take care of children. During this period of time, April had once again devoted herself to the siege of the scientific research problems. After Muyang learned that Melia and Melis were about to break through, he had already brought them into seclusion on planet Wudeo. On this day, a gale blew on planet Wudeo, and April had no choice but to come out of the scientific siege. Together with Muyang, they watched Melia and the others break through. Dot. Melia and the Melis sisters tightly closed their eyes, fully concentrating on adjusting the strength of their bodies. As their momentum was released, their golden hair was constantly fluttering. Bang! 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 A sound like a heartbeat echoed in their ears, and strands of grass-green light spread along their dancing hair. Muyang opened his eyes and looked at their form seriously. He shook his head. Still a little bit more. Although their key has already reached the peak of the Super Scion, they are still a bit lacking in breaking through that layer of shackles. The legendary Super Scion the state was generally divided into four levels, Base Form, Wrathful Form, Super Scion, and Legendary Super Scion. If it corresponded to an ordinary Scion, the Wrathful Form state could deal with Super Scion, Super Scion 2, and Super Scion 3, while Legendary Super Scion could deal with Half-God level Super Scion God. However, in fact, this was only a general correlation in strength, but the essence was completely different. There was a threshold for each Super Scion transformation. For example, Super Scion's transformation had a minimum power level of 3 million, or Super Scion 2. The minimum requirement for advancement was that Super Scion had a combat strength of 5 billion. Otherwise, they would all belong to the category of Super Scion 1. Melia and Melis were very strong, but now they could not even perform the basic transformation of Legendary Super Scion. This was still in Acceleration World. Muyang used the power of rules to shield the influence of the entire universe as much as possible. Otherwise, in the entire universe, under the influence of the realm, Melia and the others did not even have the hope of breaking through. April watched nervously, her beautiful eyes suddenly flashing. It should be about time. Muyang smiled and nodded. Yes, it's almost time. Seeing that the time was right, Muyang shouted, Melia, Melis, take this opportunity to fuse together and break through the shackles. Good. Fuse. Melia and Melis roared on the spot. Their auras began to rise along with the sound waves. In a brief flash of light, Melissa's well-proportioned body appeared. The power in her body suddenly doubled, and this increase immediately broke the last barrier. Suddenly, a few muffled sounds rang out. Melissa's body floated up. Her golden hair was replaced by a hint of grass-green color. A brutal and violent pressure spread out. When her golden hair all leaned towards the grass-green color, Melissa's pupils dilated, but her golden eyes did not disappear. The real legendary Super Scion. 
broke through. Melissa had been stuck at the Blonde Legend stage for a full 17 years. Legendary Super Scion, the lowest energy level reached the Half God level level, which was the strength of the Super Scion God that Sun Goku had transformed into in the original work. It's finally completed. Muyang revealed a smile on the corner of his mouth. He could not help but nod in satisfaction when he saw that Malia had not lost her mind because she had become a legendary Super Scion. Sister has become powerful all of a sudden. April said enviously. If she doesn't break through, she will be surpassed by Broly. She is obviously 16 or 17 years older than Broly, but her strength is almost the same. She is also the legendary Super Scion. She will lose face soon. When Broly appeared in the theater version in the original story, the Golden Eye State was already enough to match the Super Scion God Son Goku. Looking at how Melissa is now, Green Hair Legendary Super Scion form is barely achieved half god level. There is still a huge gap between the two sides. Of course, according to normal history, that would only happen after 11 years. At that time, even in the Golden Eye State, Melissa should be able to reach the strength of the half god level. Chapter 543 Melissa's talent was not as good as Broly. This was not a secret at all. Even if she was a step ahead now, there was nothing to be proud of. Perhaps Broly would be able to reach the same strength as her in a few days. However, Melissa's breakthrough was worth celebrating after all. Other than Wuyang, she was the second person to reach the half-god level. Therefore, after a conversation, Wuyang decided to hold a small celebration on planet Wudeo. The people who participated in the celebration were the closest people. Muyang only informed a few people from Great Azure Mountain, plus Mukiu, Amelia, Broly, and their families. Planet Wudeo was beautiful with clear water. Beside the gurgling stream, Isaac and the other elders gathered together to reminisce. Next to them, Lazuli and Amelia learned to take care of little Mushin under the education of Alice. The other young people also sat together, drinking and chatting happily with each other. Even the childhood playmate, Blue Dragon Growly, was brought in and was lying on the side snoring. On the side, the son of Broly Eluk, who had grown up a little, was lying in the grass with interest, staring at Gaia with big eyes and small hands grabbing onto Gaia, almost kneading her into a lump of jelly. You, stay away from me. Gaia said softly, using an unfamiliar language to express her emotions. Gaia, let me take a good look at what kind of creature you are, okay? Eluk blinked his eyes with interest. It just so happened that he was at an age where he was interested in the outside world, so he completely ignored Gaia's dissatisfaction and continued to pull at Gaia's body. Humph. Gaia broke free from Elek's hand. Blue waves of electricity appeared on the surface of her body, and then a ray of magic power was released towards Elek. The magic waves hit Elek, and immediately, like frost forming a layer of frost on the surface of his body. Elek shivered and shouted. His body was confined by Gaia and he could not move at all. Gaia shook its body proudly. It was unknown whether it was a slime or a jelly-like body that swayed like a water ball. A few jumps climbed onto Muyang's shoulder and then settled down on top of his head. Muyang grabbed Gaia from the top of his head and hugged her in his arms. Don't be naughty. Elok is just playing with you. As he spoke, he waved his hand towards Elok. Acceleration World's energy was used on Elok, but in the next moment, Muyang was stunned. His strength was actually unable to immediately undo the imprisonment on Elok's body. Frowning, Muyang glanced at Gaia in surprise, your magic power is very interesting. You are actually able to block Acceleration World's rules. Why aren't you releasing Elok? Only then did Gaia snort twice, slowly and unhurriedly spitting out a mouthful of emerald green liquid towards Elok, melting the frost on his body. April said with interest, that cute little fellow, Gaia, is becoming more and more mysterious. It has grown a lot in the past few decades. Muyang looked at Gaia. Who knows what species it is? In any case, even Wis can't see through it. Gaia was born on planet Ambera, which was once guarded by Virgil. Planet Ambera was actually a super dragon ball, which meant that Gaia was a living being born on a super dragon ball. There was probably no second species like it that could produce the spring of life in the entire universe. Perhaps, he could go to the other universes to look for it. If he was lucky, he might be able to find a few other planets that were not destroyed, but he did not know if there were other Gaia there. Muyang glanced at Gaia, who also tilted its head and cried out. Her sweet voice was very pleasant, making people feel happy. Mother, 
can you let me see what kind of power the real legendary Super Scion has? At the end of the celebration, Broly eagerly asked Melissa very seriously. He really wanted to see the transmission of high-level forms. Perhaps it could be of inspiration to him. Why not? Melissa happily agreed. In fact, she also wanted to show off on purpose. When everyone heard that Melissa was going to release the power of beyond, they immediately retreated a few steps, especially Isaac and Alice. Their strength was not strong, and Wiang used Acceleration World's energy to set up a protective shield on them. Everything was ready. Melissa calmed down for a while. She took a deep breath and slowly exhaled. The next second, Melissa opened her golden eyes. Her hair immediately turned into grass green. The violent energy immediately spread out like a huge wave along with the green light. It could topple mountains and overturn the seas. Layer after layer. Crack. The ground under their feet suddenly collapsed. The winding cracks spread out in all directions and quickly formed a broken area with a diameter of 10 meters. Only a small piece of land under the feet of Melissa was still intact. The terrifying energy wreaked havoc on the entire martial arts planet. Everyone felt as if there was a huge stone pressing down on their chests, and it became very difficult for them to breathe. This key is so terrifying. Standing in front of this power, I don't have the courage to fight at all. Mukio, Lazuli, and the others were the best in martial arts. They could also boast to be strong, but when facing the energy released by Melissa, they couldn't help but have a feeling that the light of fire couldn't compete with the bright moon. They really couldn't compare. If Mukio and the others were like this, then even more so for Isaac and Bjaros. If not for the protective shield that Muyang had set up beforehand, he would have been crushed by Melissa's power to the point where he couldn't stand. It turns out that this is the higher order power of legendary Super Scion. It's completely different from my father's power. Broly placed his hand on his forehead to block the violent energy whirlwind, but his eyes were shining as if he had already found a direction to move forward. How is it? Do you have a general idea? Melissa maintained her legendary Super Scion form, and there was an absolute arrogance in her words. This was probably a side effect brought by the transformation. I understand now. As long as you give me some time, I think I will be able to reach this state soon. Broly was full of confidence. Melissa nodded and smiled as she exited the legendary Super Scion transformation. After all, the legendary Super Scion transformation consumed a lot of physical strength. Legendary Super Scion does not inferior half god level in power level, that is Super Scion god level. However, the difference is that the energy of legendary Super Scion is violent. It was not as reserved and gentle as the Super Scion god. Therefore, the shock it caused to Broly, Mukio, and the others was far greater than Wiang's true god level. Isaac and the other elders could only smile bitterly and shake their heads. As Wiang and the others continued to grow stronger, they had realized a long time ago that their horizons could no longer keep up with their footsteps. Right, now there are six galaxies in Acceleration World. Which one of you is interested in helping me manage them? Wiang suddenly pointed at a few huge water balls in the sky and said. Amelia asked doubtfully. There must be a space the size of a galaxy inside those water balls, right? April nodded. My brother and I moved many planets from other worlds. Some of them even stuffed the entire small world inside, so the galaxy already has life. Android 18's eyes lit up. I am very interested in becoming the manager of a universe, but I am afraid I can't manage it well with my ability. I can release a part of the authority, so there is no need to be afraid of not having enough power. Muyang said softly. He had the idea of forging Acceleration World into an entire universe. However, now that Acceleration World had just advanced to the Acceleration Universe, even the Galaxy Universe inside was still in a very immature state. It was completely incomparable to the mature world like the entire universe. Why don't we try to manage it? Lazuli glanced at it. It seems to be a little interesting. Mukiu nodded. Isaac waited for the old man to speak. Don't worry about us. This is a matter for you young people. There are a total of six galaxy universes now. How about this, Mukio, Lazuli, Amelia, Lapis, Lazuli, Android 18, Broly, each of you. By managing the universe, you might be able to comprehend a deeper level of power of rules. It will be helpful for your future comprehension of realms. Broly said, forget about me, I don't need to comprehend realms. Muyang looked at Broly and nodded slightly. Then, he looked at Launch. She seemed to be very interested, 
but Launch's strength was still a little low. She thought for a moment and said, then the sixth galaxy universe will be handed over to Ilka. Launch was a little regretful that she did not get a territory as big as the galaxy, but if her son managed it, it was no different than giving it to her. Anyway, she just wanted to be a boss. The matter was temporarily settled. Next, Muyang gave the six people the authority to manage a part of the management. In a sense, they were also the gods among Acceleration World. Chapter 544 After celebrating the end of the banquet for Melissa's breakthrough, Muyang sent everyone off one by one. Not long after they returned, Muyang received a call from Wiss. Hey, Wiss, what's the matter? Muyang spoke to Wiss. On the other side, Wiss' voice sounded, I have already settled the matter of you asking me to contact the Grand Minister. Please come to God of Destruction Planet immediately. The Grand Minister wants to see you personally. Although it was not the first time he had seen the Grand Minister, it was another Grand Minister of the entire universe. Muyang had never seen the Grand Minister of his own universe. Thus, after receiving Wiss' reply, Muyang immediately perked up. All right, Wiss. Wait a moment, I will be right there. Regarding whether or not he should communicate with Acceleration World to the entire King World, Muyang had considered it for a long time. After discussing with Wiss, he decided to try to contact the Grand Minister. Firstly, he had the token of the Grand Minister of another world in his hands. The Grand Minister of his own world should not have any ill intentions towards him. Secondly, if he did not contact him, would the Grand Minister not know? As the chief steward of the entire universe, he paid attention to every little movement. He had used Acceleration World's rules many times in Universe 7 to defend against enemies. The Grand Minister probably already knew about this. Rather than letting the other party find him, it was better to contact him personally. That was why he had asked Wiss to contact the Grand Minister, and even brought the token given to him by the Grand Minister of another world. Melissa, I need to go to God of Destruction Planet, and I will be back soon. With that, Muyang calmed himself down, and his power quickly communicated with Universe 7's highest dimension God of Destruction Planet, and then he teleported away. In God of Destruction Planet, Wiss had been waiting there for a long time. Seeing Muyang come over, Wiss said, this time, the Grand Minister attached great importance to it. He even personally came over. But you don't have to worry. The Grand Minister is much easier to talk to than you think. The high-level gods in the Dragon Ball world were all very modest and polite. They treated everyone and everything differently. For example, Wiss was smiling at everyone. But this was actually because their realms were too high, and they no longer cared about worldly matters. Muyang nodded and said, I hope it is as you say. In the entire universe, aside from a very small number of gods, they are all very upright. Since the Grand Minister personally came to see him, he would not have any malicious intentions. Otherwise, there was no need to inform him at all, he would just directly go and capture him. To be honest, Muyang was rather doubtful about whether his own Acceleration World could block the Grand Minister's power. After all, Acceleration World only had six galaxies. Even Universe 7 could not compare to him. Fortunately, Acceleration World was located in the misty sea of consciousness. He seemed to be separated from the entire universe by who knows how many dimensions. Just like that, Muyang and Wiss stood together and waited for the Grand Minister to arrive. About an hour passed. A brilliant light suddenly lit up in the sky above God of Destruction Planet. Then, a sacred golden light descended on God of Destruction Planet, gradually forming a spatial passage in the shape of a vortex. Muyang and Wiss looked serious. They knew that the Grand Minister had personally come. He's here. Muyang and Wiss looked at each other and jumped to the bottom of the Golden Whirlpool. At this time, the dark green figure of the Grand Minister came out of the Whirlpool Passage. Welcome, Grand Minister. Well, you don't have to be so polite. The Grand Minister gently raised his palm. His gentle voice was like a warm spring breeze that warmed the heart of people. He glanced at Muyang and then nodded slightly to Wiss. You must be Muyang. I have been paying attention to you since you used the energy of the other world. You did not disappoint me. First, I obtained the power of the space rules from the wishing star created by dragon god Zalama. Then, I obtained the power of the time rules from Lord Grino. Moreover, I even met the me of the other world before me. Muyang said humbly, it is my honor to be able to get the attention of the Grand Minister. Hee <laughs> hee, there is no need to be modest. Your potential surpasses other gods. 
you are the person with the highest possibility of breaking through in the entire universe. The Grand Minister spoke in a very gentle manner, and it was impossible to tell that he was a supreme god at all. I have already discussed with Lord Zeno about your situation. In fact, Lord Zeno, and I hope that you can connect your world to the entire king world as soon as possible. Oh right, I see that you have already reached the true god level. I wonder if you are willing to join the ranks of all the gods in the universe. Of course, with your potential, this is temporary, but walking in the entire universe, it is very necessary to have an identity on the surface. Could it be that the king and the grand minister want to confer me the title of god? Looking at the grand minister with a smile on his face, Muyang thought in his heart. Indeed, walking in the entire universe, especially when leaving Universe 7 and entering other universes, having the identity of a god could save a lot of trouble. Looking at Wis and seeing him nod at him, Muyang said, Thank you, Grand Minister. Of course, I am willing to become a true god. The Grand Minister chuckled and said, Don't worry, this identity is only for you to have some convenience. There will be no restrictions on you. Level 8 Dimensions Gods, such as the God of Destruction and Supreme Kai, might have obtained special abilities bestowed by the laws of the universe, but their actions would also be restricted, especially the treaty of life and death between the God of Destruction and Supreme Kai. If one side died, the other would also die. This rule caused countless experts to shrink back. Of course, after becoming a god, a long life was also enviable. It was difficult to determine whether it would be lost or not. For races that did not have long lifespans, it was naturally beneficial. He nodded towards Muyang and Wis. The Grand Minister extended a hand and took out a golden scroll from the illusory space. He slowly opened it. Next, I will announce Lord Zeno's decree. Mr. Muyang, please step forward. When Muyang heard this, he tidied up his clothes and took a step forward, putting a distance between him and Wis. The Grand Minister looked at Muyang and his tone became solemn. Mr. Muyang, the creator of the New World. Due to the initial creation of the New World, Lord Zeno has decided that on the royal calendar 3.1035.5591212, officially appointed as Multiverse Grand Supreme Kai God position, which is on top of all Supreme Kai. In addition, give Muyang the power of life creation. Mr. Muyang, please receive the rule power of the king. The Grand Minister said. A green energy broke through the space and then hovered in the air. Okay. Muyang replied with a serious expression after a brief moment of distraction. With a swish, all the energy that represented Supreme Kai's creation of life entered Muyang's body. As soon as the energy entered his body, Muyang's entire body shook. His entire body emitted a holy and majestic charm. That green energy was the power of creation of Supreme Kai. It could be used to create and improve the vitality of the planet of life. To Muyang, who had just created the world, it had a very important role. It seemed that the Grand Minister had also used some brains on this conferment. Congratulations, become the Grand Supreme Kai of Multiverse. All Supreme Kai will see you in the future, and with your power, God of Destruction must also respect you. Putting away the golden scroll into the illusory space, the Grand Minister's expression was still warm. The Grand Supreme Kai that Muyang obtained this time was different from the Grand Supreme Kai that Universe 7 had self-proclaimed. In fact, the Grand Supreme Kai of Universe 7 was essentially just Supreme Kai's god position, while the other few Supreme Kai were just Supreme Kai apprentice. This was also the reason why after Grand Supreme Kai died, East Supreme Kai was so unbearable. The reason was that East Supreme Kai's cultivation had not reached perfection. Chapter 545 Muyang's Grand Supreme Kai God Position is Multiverse Level After accepting God Position, his clothes become God's uniform, while the ordinary Supreme Kai different, Muyang's Grand Supreme Kai attire is light gold. The waist is not a ribbon, but a blue belt marked with the Grand Character Symbol. Even because he was a member of the Time Patrol, after fusing with Grand Supreme Kai's Divine Power, his back faintly showed a jade green divine halo. It looked very similar to the Grand Minister, making people want to worship him. Multiverse's Grand Supreme Kai In the future, when the gods met Zeno, there would be Muyang's exclusive seat beside the palace. Although he was below Zeno, but compared to the other gods who needed to kneel down, his status was much higher. Grand Supreme Kai was comparable to the Grand Kai and the Kai. That was a difference in rank. Even other Supreme Kai had to bow to him when they saw him. To be honest, Muyang was a little surprised that the Grand Minister and Zeno had given him such power. But after thinking about it carefully, 
he understood. In addition to Acceleration World's potential, the most important thing was that the Grand Minister and the others wanted to use themselves as a bridge to communicate with the four entire universes. This could allow them to more effectively manage all the time and space. In comparison, the position of Grand Supreme Kai was nothing amazing. Thank you for your kindness, Grand Minister. Muyang expressed his gratitude in a neither humble nor humble manner. The Grand Minister smiled faintly. This is what you deserve. I still hope that you will shoulder the responsibility of this divine seat. When you have time, help us manage the Supreme Kai of the entire universe. The implication was that if he was not free, it did not matter if he did not have to carry out his responsibility. In any case, the divine power of the rules of Zeno had already been bestowed, and it was to let him develop acceleration world. At this time, Muyang certainly gave him enough face and expressed that he would do his best to manage all Supreme Kai. The Grand Minister laughed and reminded Muyang to open the passage to Zeno world as soon as possible. After saying these words, the Grand Minister also left. After the Grand Minister left, only Muyang and Wiss remained. Wiss smiled and congratulated Muyang, congratulations on becoming a high-level god. Now even Lord Beerus has to be polite to you. I also didn't expect that the Grand Minister would actually let me become Grand Supreme Kai. Muyang sighed with emotion. Although the Grand Supreme Kai did not have the authority to manage the God of Destruction, he still said. However, he could manage Supreme Kai. This was equivalent to indirectly restricting the God of Destruction. After all, Supreme Kai was connected to the life of the God of Destruction. No matter how strong the God of Destruction was, he still needed to give face to Supreme Kai. Moreover, Muyang's strength was not inferior to the old God of Destruction. The Grand Minister must have his own considerations. Wiss said with a smile. The Grand Minister is the Steve Steward of Multiverse. His responsibility was to maintain the stability of the entire universe. In fact, the existence of multiple dimensions was not a stable factor in itself. It was undoubtedly a good method to maintain the stability of the entire universe. In this conferment, apart from the Grand Minister pulling Muyang into the ranks of the gods of the entire universe, it also gave Muyang benefits. Supreme Kai's power of creation could create and improve the vitality of the planet of life. For Acceleration World, who had less life, it could be a very good promotion. Right, when do you plan to establish a passage to Xeno World? You can't make the Grand Minister wait long. Wiss warned with a serious expression. Muyang said, after I get used to the power bestowed by Xeno, I will start to build a passage. That's good. Grand Minister is still easy to talk to. If Lord Zeno is unhappy, then it will be bad. Lord Zeno's mind is quite simple. It is possible for him to do anything. Yes. Thinking of communicating with the entire King world, it was inevitable to meet Zeno. Muyang felt a headache about the childish and supreme god. The power of Zeno was great. A single thought could destroy a universe. However, this power would become very terrifying once there was no balance. Because it was fearless, it was lawless and pure. The more innocent it was, the more terrifying it was. Only a god with a high status like the Grand Minister would be fearless against Zeno. Muyang nodded silently. Then, God of Destruction Planet tested out Supreme Kai's power. However, God of Destruction Planet was the place where the God of Destruction lived after all. To test Supreme Kai's power, he would still be disturbed by the aura of the god in the air. After thinking for a while, Muyang immediately went to Sacred World. Speaking of which, this was a rare place for Muyang to enter Sacred World. The environment of Sacred World was similar to God of Destruction planets. They were all made up of several divine stars, but the difference was that the power of the gods flowing in Sacred World was created, which was more suitable for Supreme Kai's survival. Using the power of creation in his body, a vibrant green energy flowed between the cells. If one looked carefully, they would find that there were several strands of energy flowing in Muyang's body clearly, and they did not interfere with each other. What occupied the main body of each cell was still the silver-white liquid energy. It was the power that Muyang trained himself. It combined a part of the power of space, and then it was the golden energy that represented the time attribute. Because the power of creation had just been inherited, the volume of it was relatively small, and it was squeezed to the side by the silver-white and golden energy. Muyang used the power of Grand Supreme Kai to try to improve the environment of Divine Planet. Soon, this power resonated with the rules of Sacred World. A large expanse of dense vegetation emerged from the soil. The low saplings quickly grew and formed a vast forest in the blink of an eye. 
the power bestowed by the Grand Minister was much greater than that of ordinary Supreme Kai. Thanks to this experiment, the energy in Wiang's body suddenly flowed from a trickle to a trend of the development of the river. Well, I have roughly grasped Supreme Kai's ability. With this power of creation, I can fill some barren planets with vitality faster. Muyang looked at his masterpiece proudly, and the corners of his mouth curled into a smile. He had not stayed in Sacred World for long. After mastering the power of Grand Supreme Kai, he teleported back to Wis. After Muyang left, East Supreme Kai, Shin, and his attendant Supreme Kai apprentice Kibito. When they came to the divine planet that Muyang had stayed in, they looked at the endless forest, and they could not get over it for a long time. Lord Supreme Kai, this divine planet did not have these plants before. Right. Kibito asked in confusion. Yes. Supreme Kai squatted down and stroked the green grass on the ground. He sensed a strong life force from it and was secretly surprised. This kind of abundant life force can only be achieved by the cooperation of several Supreme Kai years ago. What exactly happened to this divine planet? Why was it suddenly full of life? Chapter 546 You have grasped Supreme Kai's power so quickly. Wis was surprised to see Muyang. Muyang said, probably I have already grasped acceleration world's rules, and the power of creation is also a kind of rule. Wis nodded. Acceleration world had a more complete set of rules. Previously, he lacked the seeds to open the rules. Now that he had the gift of the king and the great priest, it was like a catalyst. All of a sudden, Muyang's ability was stimulated. So that's how it is. If you can perfectly grasp acceleration world's rules, then even if you break through to the level 9 dimension, it is not a distant matter. Wis was very optimistic about Muyang. Acceleration world can only provide support for me. How can it be so easy to break through? It had only been a short while since he advanced to level 8, and it was unrealistic for him to think about breaking through now. Wis shook his head and said, it's different. In the past, you had to explore on your own, but now it's different. The Lord Grand Minister is there. If you have any questions, you can ask him directly. We angels are all taught by the Lord Grand Minister. With a good teacher, we can walk fewer crooked paths. An angel like Wis could guide things about martial arts, but in terms of high-level control of rules, the Lord Grand Minister was naturally more skilled. Muyang patted his head and suddenly came to a realization. Yes, with his current status, if there was a problem, he could go to the Grand Minister. The Grand Minister would definitely not refuse him. Thinking of being able to receive the Grand Minister's guidance, Muyang was a little excited. However, before he troubled the Grand Minister, he had to first set up a space channel that connected Xeno World. With the effort, when he asked the Grand Minister for guidance in the future, the other party would be able to do his best. Thinking about it, Muyang did as he said. He teleported into Acceleration World. This time, Wis also came with him. Arriving at planet Wudeo, Muyang began to circulate Acceleration World's energy. Soon, an illusory hole appeared in a restricted area of planet Wudeo. From the other end of the hole, it emitted a supreme and divine charm. Wis looked at it in surprise and nodded. That's right, that's the aura of Xeno World. Let's go together. Okay. After saying that, Muyang and Wis entered the space channel together. The other end was connected to the Xeno World of the entire universe. On the huge water planet of the Golden Auspicious Cloud, the Grand Minister was already waiting outside Zeno's palace. Very good, with this passage. The Grand Minister looked at Muyang admiringly. At this moment, a short figure ran out of Zeno's palace, followed by two tall and slender guards, who looked panicked. Zeno shouted, Hey, Grand Minister, is he the founder of another world? I finally see someone who looks similar to me. Well, hello, my name is Zeno. Reaching out, Zeno stood on tiptoe and looked at Muyang. At this time, Muyang saw Zeno, the horizontal oval face, the blue and purple on both sides of the middle were divided into three areas, and the two copper coins like eyes were dotted on it, looking a little cute. Greetings, Lord Zeno. Wis bent down from the side. Muyang was stunned for a moment before extending his hand. Hello, I am the creator of Acceleration World. Yes, I know. The Grand Minister told me about it. Is the world behind you? Can you let me go in and take a look? Zeno pointed to the passage. Although Zeno was asking, it also gave Muyang a lot of pressure. Of course. At this time, the Grand Minister said, Lord Zeno, 
Please wait a moment. Hey. Zeno looked at the Grand Minister doubtfully. The Grand Minister raised his hand and waved towards the passage that connected to Acceleration World. A golden door appeared and wrapped around the door to form a small palace. The palace was shaped like a large structure. Lord Zeno, I have already set it up. So beautiful, then let's go together. Zeno pushed the door with his hand in high spirits, and a flawless passage appeared. Muyang led the way, followed by Zeno, Grand Minister, Wiss, and Zeno's two guards. They glanced at each other and then followed closely behind. At this time, only Mukio, Amelia, and a few others were in Acceleration World's group. They were still familiar with the power that Muyang had shared with them and were controlling their own galaxy. When they saw Muyang bring in a group of people they had never seen before, their faces could not help but reveal a surprised expression. Wow, this is Acceleration World. It is completely different from Zeno World. Zeno was like a mischievous child. He ran around the martial arts planet and felt fresh from everything he saw. After all, Acceleration World's planet Uyodeo was much bigger than the jellyfish planet where Zeno's palace was located. The scenery above was much more colorful than the jellyfish planet. The Grand Minister had his hands behind his back and looked up at the surroundings. He said indifferently, this is a new world. It is filled with the aura of chaos. Grand Minister, look, there are six beautiful planets in the sky. Zeno looked up, his copper eyes unblinking. Muyang introduced. That is a small universe that has just been born. However, it is only the size of a galaxy. The Grand Minister said, it is already at its initial stage. When the time is right, it will naturally evolve into a large universe. It is not inferior to Lord Zeno's universe at all. There were twelve water balls around the palace of Zeno World, representing the twelve universes of the entire universe. Acceleration World was much lower level than Zeno World and the number of universes was not as many as the King World. However, the Grand Minister did not deny the potential of Muyang's world. Hey, this place is so beautiful. I want to walk alone. Don't follow me. Zeno said to the two guards behind him. The guard hesitated for a moment and looked at the Grand Minister uneasily. After seeing the Grand Minister nod, he was relieved to let Zeno leave alone. Father, who was that just now? Mukio, who was not clear about the identity of the Zeno, asked quietly. They had seen Wiss beside Zeno. At this time, seeing Wiss standing respectfully at the side, they could not help but be curious about the identity of the other party. Zeno. Muyang moved his lips and stared at the figure of Zeno. He is the master of the entire universe and has the ability to destroy a universe with a wave of his hand. Even if he wants to God of Destruction and Supreme Kai, it is only a thought. And the person next to him is the Grand Minister of Multiverse, the Angel Wiss, whose status is not below Zeno. Yes, it is such a powerful god. Should we take good care of him? Mukyu and Lazuli, and the others were immediately shocked. The terror of Zeno shocked them, and the high god's lofty status also surprised them. For Acceleration World to suddenly come in such a terrifying character, this was going to be heaven-defying. Muyang waved his hand. It doesn't matter. Zeno and the Grand Minister won't care about this. You just have to do your own things. Your Excellency Muyang, are these managers you chose? The Grand Minister smiled faintly. Yes, they are my children. It is not easy to manage the universe. Do you need me to send a few angels to guide them? If that is the case, of course it is best. Chapter 547 Muyang did not refuse. First, he had the guidance of the angel. It would be very helpful to Mukyu and the others. Second, Muyang was not afraid that the angel would do something beyond his control after entering Acceleration World. After all, among Acceleration World, unless Zeno or Grand Minister personally acted, Muyang was confident that he could suppress anyone else. The Grand Minister smiled. He needed to think about the candidate of the angel stationed outside. Originally, he wanted to send the six angels who were idle in the universe, but after thinking about it, he felt that it was best to choose someone he was familiar with. He looked at Wiss and said, how about this, let Wiss stay here for the time being. Universe 7 does not have many things to do, so let's take over. I don't have any problems. Wiss nodded. Muyang had no objections to this. He was very familiar with Wiss. He was also very assured to let him enter Acceleration World. It's settled then. If there is anything, you can ask Wiss to contact me. Of course you can also come to the entire King World to find me personally. 
sure. Muyang and the Grand Minister talked for a while and settled the matter. At this time, Mukyu and the others did not interrupt and obediently listened from the side. When they knew that they would be able to receive guidance from the angels in the future, they were faintly looking forward to it. Next, in front of the Grand Minister, Muyang went to several other universes. Then, he opened up the passage to Zeno World of those worlds respectively. Soon, the other three Zeno and the Grand Minister also passed through the passage. The four Zeno met at this time. It was as if four mentally handicapped children suddenly appeared in the scene. The ears became noisy, but Zeno were very happy. N, Muyang, I'm very happy. In the future, you have to come to my world often to play. In his reluctance to part, Zeno said goodbye to the other few of them and returned to his world under the escort of the guards. The few grand ministers, because they had to communicate with the entire universe, stayed for the time being. After Zeno left, the jelly-like Gaia carefully revealed her head and jumped into Muyang's arms with a look of lingering fear. Eh? The thing in your arms is interesting. The grand minister looked at Gaia in surprise. The grand minister knows about Gaia's origins. Muyang asked doubtfully. Gaia also tilted her head. Gaia was also confused about her identity. The Ji Grand Minister smiled and said, there was a trace of the dragon god Aura on its body. It seemed that because it stayed with Acceleration World, it was also contaminated with a trace of the Aura of Rules. It was really a strange little fellow. Gaia found it on the planet formed by the Super Dragon Ball, Muyang said. That's no wonder. It might be the incarnation of the dragon soul, but I can't completely judge its specific identity. It's better to ask Lord Krino. He is the most familiar with the Dragon God. Muyang nodded. He had a faint premonition that Gaia had an extraordinary background. All right, we have to go back first. According to our previous agreement, the four of us will each send an angel to Acceleration World. In addition to training the six new Universe Masters, it also has the function of contacting the four entire universes. Please wait for a few days. After choosing a suitable candidate, I will let them come over. Four Grand Ministers sent angels representing each of their multiverses. In addition to the multiverse number three, Muyang's birth timeline, decision to be managed by Wiss, the other three candidates also need to be selected. Yes. After the Grand Minister and the others left, Acceleration World regained his calm. Three days passed like this. On this day, the entrances to the various universes lit up with a dazzling light at the same time. When the dazzling light gradually dissipated, three figures appeared in front of him. The three of them were dressed in uniform. They had silver-gray hair and held a divine staff in their hands. They were the angels sent by the other universes. One of them was wearing a purple divine robe. She was petite and had a ponytail. Her young face was full of seriousness. She was the angel of Universe 10, Angel Kusu. The one on the left was a beautiful royal sister dressed in a green robe. Her silver-gray hair was tied into a bundle. A ponytail hung down through a hairband. She was delicate and pretty. She was the angel of Universe 6, Angel Vados. The one on the right was a stranger. She wore a dark blue robe. Her appearance was extremely similar to Vados, but she was a little younger than Vados. This angel had a slender and enchanting figure, and her skin was delicate and smooth. Other than the blue halo around her neck, her silver-gray hair was tied into two long ponytails. Two strands of style hair stretched out from her forehead, and her actions were elegant and moving. She looked full of youthful vitality. Her name was Mark Arita and it is Angel of Universe 11. The age of an angel naturally couldn't be judged only by her appearance. After all, with a celestial mountain like Kusu, Muyang couldn't be sure who was older or younger. Hello, my name is Mark Arita. I am an angel from Universe 11. The young girl smiled, as quiet and elegant as a lotus flower and spoke with a strange accent. Dot. My name is Kusu, Universe 10. My name is Vados. I come from Universe 6. Please guide me in the future. Kusu and Vados then greeted Muyang. These angels came from other universes, so they were not Kusu and Vados whom Muyang had seen before. For them, this was the first time they had seen Muyang. They were very curious about Grand Supreme Kai, which was personally enshrined by the Grand Minister. Muyang smiled gently and said, no need to be polite. We will get along more often in the future. I hope we can cooperate happily. Mukyu, Lazuli. Come here. These people will be your teachers in the future. Under their guidance, you have to manage your own galaxy. 
Mukyu and the others, who already knew that the other party was an angel, hurriedly stood in front of Vados and the others, looking at them cautiously. Ayaya, looks like they are some young little fellows. Vados was as gentle as water, but no matter which world Vados was from, he was a little black-bellied. Mark Arida glanced at Vados and smiled to show her affinity. Even as sisters, Mark Arida and Vados had always competed with each other. Only Kusul looked at them calmly. She said to Muyang, the Grand Minister asked us to do our best to help you manage this world. If you have any requests, feel free to tell us. Muyang smiled faintly. This is mutual help. My world has not been established for long, and there are pitifully few lives in the universe. It is not troublesome to manage them. It is just these little fellows. Please train well. Kusu said with a steady face, leave it to us. I will make them qualified managers as soon as possible. Kusu, Vados, Wis, and Mark Arida were the angels sent by the four universes. Of course, because they were also responsible for the position of angels in their own universe, they had to go back to work every year to transfer other angels over. However, the angels that were transferred over would still be these few, but they were replaced by individuals from different parallel worlds. Chapter 548 the addition of the four angels immediately accelerated the development of the world. Under the guidance of Wis and the others, Mukiu, Amelia, and the others were slowly grasping the mysteries of maintaining the stability of the universe. Moreover, the four angels were very good instructors. They trained with them, and their strength grew every day. On this day, the sky above planet Wudeo was clear for thousands of miles. Suddenly, there was a violent whirlwind in the sky. A beautiful light broke through the clouds, and grass-green flames burned fiercely. Broly had finally completed a further breakthrough. However, the violent and raging energy was also challenging his reason bit by bit. Broly controlled the raging energy in his body with difficulty. With a rumble, it was like a great sun suddenly exploding in the sky. The majestic energy instantly engulfed everything in a radius of several thousand meters. The terrifying momentum caused planet Wudeo to tremble. Muyang waved his hand to stabilize planet Wudeo. Standing below, he frowned. Although Broly had also reached the form of legendary Super Scion, it seemed to be a little out of control compared to Malia's transformation. Broly's situation is not good. April said worriedly. This has never happened to me before. Melissa frowned. Muyang said, this is the real Super Scion from the legends. It is purer than you, Melissa, but Broly's control is still unable to control this power. Melissa was affected by the demon key in her previous life, and with the excellent bloodline genes in this life, she revealed the form of a legend. Broly was much purer than her, and it would be strange if he did not go berserk when he truly awakened his beast. Do you want us to stop them? Wiss looked at Broly indifferently. Wait, let's take a look at his condition first. Muyang shook his head. No matter how strong Broly was, he had only just reached the half-god level. No matter if it were from Muyang or the Four Angels, if they really wanted to attack, they could stop him with a single hand knife. However, Muyang did not want to do so. He hoped that Broly could control his own strength. I haven't seen the legendary Super Scion for many years, except for Elitmont. But such a bloodline is too easy to get out of control. Mark Arida smiled tenderly, her delicate face without a trace of worry. Vados's green skirt fluttered, revealing a smile, in my universe six there is also a scion of similar blood. Now, he was already one of the top experts in Universe 6. The multiverse number 2 of Vados was in the entire universe, which was also the world that Trunks lived in. It was 17 years faster than the timeline of the current world. There was a legendary super scion named Kale. He had also been violent when he was growing up. Later, he had mastered the power of the legend under the guidance of Vados. He was now the most powerful warrior in their universe. Humph, don't say that backward universe of yours. No matter how strong you are, you can't compare to my universe 11. Argyron is a powerful warrior that even God of Destruction Belmod appreciates. Mark Arida glanced at Vados and said with equal harshness. Vados looked at Mark Arida with a brilliant smile. I'm really sorry. I know about the guitar that you mentioned. In my place, our two universes had a competition. Your strongest warrior, Gyron lost to the opening of our universe. Impossible, how could Gyron lose to the people of your universe? Mark Arida's first reaction was disbelief. Gyron was the main force of the proud battle of Universe 11. Even the god of destruction, Belmod, 
didn't dare to underestimate his strength. How could he lose? That's the truth. You've seen the power of the Super Scion. My world is faster than your world by more than ten years. Kale is the next god of destruction in our world. Vado's beautiful face looked at Mark Arida, not forgetting to attack her sisters with words. Humph. Mark Arida rolled her eyes at Vado's unhappily. The two of you need to be quiet. The petite Kuso coughed twice, picked up the divine staff and knocked on the heads of Vado's and Mark Arida. When the two female angels saw their elder sister speak, they all fell silent. Kuso sighed helplessly and flew to Muyang's side. Master Muyang, this child of yours needs to strengthen his mental training. Why don't you let me train him? Are you good at mental strength? Muyang asked. Kusu said, every angel has their own specialty. I know a bit more than Weiss and the others. Then give it a try. N. Kusu nodded. The crystal ball of the divine staff aimed at Broly in the sky. A bolt of lightning shot out, and a dot of light spread out into an infinite dimension in the air. A spherical space about a hundred meters in diameter suddenly appeared in the sky and then firmly covered Broly inside. With a tap of his toes, Kuso stepped forward lightly and entered the spherical space with a pop. That spherical space was actually a space of the spiritual domain. The flow of time inside was different from the outside world. A second outside might be a long time inside. About two minutes later, Kuso came out of the spiritual space, and Broly followed behind him. However, looking at his current appearance, it was obvious that he had stabilized the strength in his body. Amazing. Muyang praised. He could tell that Broly was in a good state. If they really fought, maybe even Melissa might not be his match. Wiss said, this is Sister Kuso's innate talent. Other than the power of the time rule, each of our angels has at least some other abilities. However, only Sister Kuso is familiar with the power of spirit. Muyang nodded. The time in the spiritual world was different from the real world. Moreover, there were many strange and bizarre things in it. If it were for use to defend against enemies, it would definitely give the opponent a headache. Father. Broly shyly came to the side, his body emitting waves after waves of aura. Ha ha ha, very good. Other than Melissa, we have a second scion who has reached the half-god level. Broly, let's compare who is stronger. Melissa looked at him and said. Broly looked at Melissa awkwardly and nodded, All right, let's stop here. Melissa laughed, Don't worry. We have so many experts here. You can fight as much as you like, don't worry about hurting them. Muyang also said, do your best to fight Melissa. All of you are super scions. Fighting is the best way for you to grow. Okay, let's begin. Come on. Melissa shouted arrogantly, and the grass green energy burst out. Then he clenched his fist and attacked Broly. Broly's eyes flashed, and at the same time, he displayed the power of his green hair. Soon, the shockwaves spread throughout the entire planet Wudeo. In an instant, the two of them exchanged countless blows. The battle between the Super Scion people reminded me of the battle in ancient times. Wiss looked at the sky. Was it the Battle of Elitmont? That's right. Back then, they were the elites of our two universes. If not for the chaos in the end and the anger of the king, both of them wouldn't have been wiped out. When Mu Yang heard this, he asked curiously, what are you guys talking about? Why said, we were talking about a war between Scion people. In the past, Illidmont was the expert of the God of Destruction competition with Lord Beerus. Unfortunately, because of race, it conflicted with the Scion leader of Universe 6, which caused the Universe. The great battle between 6 and Universe 7 Scion. Later, Lord Zeno was very angry and wiped them all out with a wave of his hand. Otherwise, Lord Beerus might not be the one who is now serving as the God of Destruction. Vados continued, if not for that farce, the God of Destruction of my Universe 6 might not have been Lord Kampa. Chapter 549 So that's how it is. After listening to Wiss and Vados' explanation, Muyang nodded in understanding. He already knew that there was a conflict between the two races, but he didn't know that it involved the candidate of the God of Destruction. Thinking about it, the ancient scions were quite powerful, and they actually had the qualifications to compete for the God of Destruction. Mark Arida sneered, Your scions are too easy to cause trouble, but you should also be glad that Zeno didn't clean up the universes 6 and 7. Vados nodded and said, Now that I think about it, I'm quite lucky. While Muyang was chatting with Vados and the others, the battle between Melissa and Broly in the sky was coming to an end. 
Broly's strength was obviously slightly higher than Melissa's, but Broly was not as skilled as Melissa in terms of skills. Therefore, the battle ended with Melissa winning slightly, but in fact, if they were given a little more time, the one who would lose would be Melissa. Sister, you're about to lose to the younger generation. April bent her eyes and handed Melissa a brand new set of clothes. Melissa snorted and pinched her cheek. April, you are not much better than me. At least I am a half-god, and you are still wandering in front of the threshold of half-god level. April had a helpless expression. If I can't break through to the next level, I can't do anything about it either. To be honest, the threshold of the half-god level was like a huge sieve. Apart from countless people with insufficient talent, there were still some left behind. And this sieve was even more thorough. It was simply impossible for people to see the hope of breaking through. Generally speaking, experts who could break through to the half-god level in a universe were the minority. For example, in the current Universe 7, other than the god of destruction Beerus and Wiang, the only ones who had truly reached the half-god level were Melissa and Broly. Of course, if Melissa was counted as Melia and Melis, then there would be three people. By the way, father, it will be Krillin's wedding in a few days. Gaku asked me to ask if you have time to attend the wedding. Broly changed his clothes and said to Muyang. Muyang was stunned for a moment, Krillin is going to get married. Who is the bride? He had been to other universes, and the timeline was much more advanced than here, but he had never seen Krillin get married. More importantly, in the original story, Lazuli had already become his daughter-in-law. It's a girl named Suno. She seems to be a public officer in the West City. She is a police officer. Krillin has known her for many years. We have always talked. This time, after the end of the Big Get Star incident, she was transferred to West City. It can be considered a long time reunion. When Wiang heard this, he became interested and quickly expressed that he would bring someone to attend Krillin's wedding. Wiang, I heard that someone is getting married here. There must be a lot of delicious food at the wedding, right? Wiss walked over. Your ears are really sharp. Muyang glanced at Wiss. There is indeed a lot of delicious food. It is boring for you to stay on planet Wudeo. Why don't you come with me to Earth? That must be good. Like Beerus, Wiss loved delicious food the most. He had long wanted to go to Earth. Vado said with interest, if there is food, I don't mind. Mark Arida said, if you want to eat something, just say it. Vados licked her lips and said with a playful smile, don't you want to? Mark Arida. I really want to fight Vados. Kusu said, we come from another parallel world. Theoretically, we should not set foot on other planets. It doesn't matter. The Grand Minister did not forbid you from leaving and accelerating the world, Muyang said. Then let's go over and take a look. Thus, under the lead of Muyang, Wiss and the other four angels came to Earth. The clothes and hair color of the four angels were different from ordinary people, but what kind of species didn't exist on Earth? Therefore, it didn't attract the attention of the surrounding people. In a restaurant, Wiss ate a piece of delicious food with a happy face, as if he was floating in the air. It's too delicious. I should have come to Earth earlier. Oh, it's a pity that Lord Beerus is still sleeping and has no chance of such delicious food. It is indeed not bad. Mark Arida tasted the delicious food gracefully. Logically speaking, there should be such a planet in the sixth universe, right? Kusu asked. It's a pity that the Earth of the Universe 6 has been destroyed because of the stupid war of the Earth people. MNNN. If Lord Kampa knew, he would definitely go crazy. Vados tasted the delicious food with small bites and did not look sad at all. In fact, even if he took some of the Earth's feed back to Kampa, Kampa would think it was delicious food. Speaking of which, Muyang, you are still an excellent chef, right? Wis put down the plate in his hand. Yes, if you go to Great Azure Mountain, you can also taste the real homemade snacks there. Launch's family's restaurant is very famous in the area. Muyang chuckled, as if he remembered the days when he studied at Launch's restaurant. A few days passed quickly. In the past few days, Wis and the others put down their usual work and enjoyed the life on Earth. On this day, it was the day of Krillin's wedding. When Wiang saw Krillin's bride, he roughly recognized her identity. It turned out that this Suno was actually a red-haired girl who lived near the Muscle Tower in the northern part. In the original story, she had saved Sun Goku's life. It was a cute and considerate little girl. But how did she get together with Krillin? 
the two of them should not have had any interaction. After quietly asking Krillin, Krillin was embarrassed to say that he used the Dragon Pearl to make a wish to find his future bride. Because Suno was still young at that time, he only got familiar with one person. Later, as time passed, Suno grew up little by little and learned a bit of martial arts under Krillin's guidance. Only then did he become a police officer. After listening to this, Muyang looked at Krillin with disdain. It turned out that when Suno was so young, he had been targeted by Krillin, this strange uncle. When he told about Krillin and Suno, he also received the same disdainful smile. Humph, one person is the same. I was raised by you for two lifetimes. Melissa raised her rosy lips. April said, the first time I met my brother, he was only five years old. Muyang was speechless for a moment. This topic seemed to be unable to be discussed with Melissa and the others, making him seem like a weird uncle. Time passed quickly. In the blink of an eye, more than six years had passed. By now, seven years had passed since the incident with the Big Get Star incident. In the past few years, Wiss and the others had changed several batches, accelerating the growth of the world under their support. Similarly, Mukyu and the others' strength was about to touch the breakthrough of the half-god level. Of course, apart from Mukyu and the others, many things had happened on Earth in the past few years. The most serious thing was that two years ago, a monster named Hildegarn invaded Earth. Because at that time, Muyang and the others did not interfere in accelerating the world, it was Sun Goku and Vegeta who spent a lot of effort to resist the attack of the enemy. However, the result was that when Hildegarn was repelled, Earth also suffered serious injuries. Fortunately, Earth had already been strengthened, so there were no fatal injuries. However, this disaster still affected the stability of Earth. Even the 28th Martial Arts Tournament that should have been held two years ago was helplessly delayed for two years. Chapter 550 In the Northern Hemisphere, the towering mountain range that stretched for hundreds of kilometers was like a giant dragon lying across the continent. This place was full of jagged rocks. The forest was dense, and the towering mountain peak was clear and bright. Under the gentle light, it seemed quiet and full of nature. Because it was hundreds of kilometers away from the city, the surrounding of the mountains isolated this place. There were very few signs of human activity. This was the paradise of real wild animals. Rumble. A dazzling light broke through the void, and the pillar of light rose into the sky. The huge fireball broke the silence here. Influenced by this, the earth trembled violently. The huge destructive force cut off the mountain peaks from the middle, leaving a bottomless chasm. The stone statue shot out like a cannonball, smashing into the ground and splashing a large amount of dry sand. The vast forest echoed with the low roar of beasts, constantly fleeing in all directions. The birds were startled, and in the blink of an eye, they turned into black dots on the horizon. And the ones who caused all this were two young people of 16 or 17 years old. One of them had black hair. He was delicate and pretty, about the age of an adult. He was more than 1.6 meters tall, and his slim figure was full of the charm of a young girl. The other was handsome, not tall, not short, not thin or fat. He looked like a heroic youth. They were Sun Goku's eldest son, Sun Hong Yi, and Broly's son Elok. Seven years after the Big Get Star incident, the children of that year had all grown up. Sun Hong Yi, who was 16 years old, was studying in a high school in a nearby city. Because she had inherited Chi Chi's good genes, her pretty face seemed to have been meticulously carved. She was a rare beauty in the class and was very liked by the students around her. But sometimes, she would also be worried about the powerful strength in her body. Because she could not play with her classmates, every time after school, she would go home early on the flying Nimbus. She would find a quiet and secluded place to fight to her heart's content with the person with the best relationship. Of course, it was all because of Elek who gave in to her. After all, Elek had received the training of an angel in Acceleration World. His strength had long surpassed that of Sun Hong Yi. Xiu, countless rays swept through the mountains and rivers. Elek nimbly dodged and threw out a ball of energy. With a rumble, the trees in a radius of a thousand meters were bent by the storm. The trees with a diameter of several meters were directly cut in half at the waist. Elek, you are getting more and more powerful. I can't beat you. Sun Hong Yi gasped for breath and withdrew from the Super Scion state. Ha ha ha, if you are willing. I can train you well. I guarantee that you will become even stronger. This is what you said. Sun Hong Yi's beautiful eyes looked at Elok. His eyes were like crystals, full of spirituality. 
of course. Elec patted his chest. Under the guidance of an angel, he had also mastered the advanced martial arts philosophy. Moreover, he felt that staying with Sun Hong Yi was also a relaxing thing. Sun Hong Yi gently pulled up her hair and giggled, in two months, it will be the World Martial Arts Tournament. Although that kind of competition is relatively low for us, I think it is quite interesting. Shall we go together? All right, we've never participated in the World Martial Arts Tournament before. It's good to go and play. Elec agreed readily. Oh yeah, is there a lot of bonus for the Martial Arts Tournament? It's okay, it should be a few million. Sun Hong Yi replied. It seems like we don't have to think about winning the championship. I think Aunt Lei Sulai will definitely participate as well. Alec's expression immediately fell. And Dorit 18 was a money grubber. As long as there was a prize money competition, she would be there. He really didn't know why she wanted so much money. Sun Hong Yi also could not understand Android 18's love for money. She said, if Aunt Lei Sulai is participating, then we can only aim at the runner-up. Yes, that's the only way. Elec took out two cups from the all-purpose capsule and handed one to Sun Hong Yi. While drinking water, he chatted with Sun Hong Yi. Since you want to participate in the competition, why don't you call Godin and Alex together? It'll be lively when there are more people. Sure. Right, what is Godin doing now? I don't know. Ever since I met a little sister called Angela, I went home very late after school. He must have a girlfriend. Alec immediately guessed that Sun Godin was in a relationship. Otherwise, he would not have gone home so late. Sun Hong Yi spread her hands. She had seen the girl called Angela before. She had orange curly hair and looked very cute. However, they were only 16 years old. Would it be too early for them to fall in love? She secretly glanced at Alec's handsome face. Well, it seemed that it was not too early. What are you looking at? Alec placed his hand on Sun Hong Yi's head. Sun Hong Yi's voice was as soft as a mosquito's whisper. It's nothing. Hey, Godin, are you interested in participating in the World Martial Arts Competition two months from now? Yes, both me and Hong Yi will participate. Call Alex as well. All right, it sounds very interesting. Sun Godin quickly gave a reply. After receiving Sun Godin's reply, Ilka immediately contacted Alex. However, this matter was soon known by Alex's father, Vegeta. When he learned that a few children were going to participate in the martial arts tournament, Vegeta was immediately interested. In the last notice, even Sun Goku and Piccolo were going to participate. When he learned of this result, Ilk was stunned for a moment. If Sun Goku, Vegeta, and the others were going to participate in the competition, then what were the juniors playing? A perfectly fine match had turned into a big gathering. In his heart, he did not know how to describe it, but he quickly pulled himself together. Wasn't it just Sun Goku and the others? He had been trained in Acceleration World for so long, and his strength was not much inferior. Perhaps, he should use his own strength to test the strength of his elders. On the other side, as the World Martial Arts Tournament that had been delayed for two years gradually approached, all the experts in the world were rubbing their fists and waiting for the competition. In the lookout, Kanalita was teaching her little disciple. This disciple of hers was called Videl, and she was the youngest martial artist in the martial arts family who had entered the temple in recent years. Videl was born in a martial arts family, and his father was a relatively famous expert who had once achieved good results in the World Martial Arts Tournament. Because the martial arts era was popular in this world, Satan was far more knowledgeable than in the original story. Although he was still a little narcissistic, he was not a swindler who deceived the world. Instead, he specialized in martial arts and achieved a lot of achievements. Therefore, under the influence of this environment, he was more determined to become an outstanding martial artist than Videl since she was a child. Fortunately, Videl's martial arts talent was better than Satan's. At a young age, he passed the test of Corin and was selected to be sent to the lookout. When Kanalita saw the young Videl, it was as if she had seen her own childhood, and she immediately planned to cultivate her as a successor. She stood at the edge of the lookout and when she saw that Ilk and Sun Hong Yi were talking about participating in the martial arts tournament, she went to look for Videl. Videl, come here for a moment. Teacher. Videl nimbly jumped over. Kanalita said, the lower realm is about to hold a martial arts competition. There will be many experts participating in it. You should also participate in it as a form of training for you. 
will there be many experts in the martial arts tournament below? You will understand once you go there. Oh. Unparalleled was not interested in the martial arts tournament, but since it was her teacher's order, she could only comply. Kanalita seemed to have seen through Videl's mentality. She smiled and did not speak. This little disciple of hers had never experienced failure, and her standards were too high. When you see Sun Hong Yi and the others at the martial arts tournament, you will know that there is always someone stronger than you, and there is always someone stronger.